Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Paolo Maldini. It's with Scholes, and a lot to like about this attack. Hold on! Save, but still a chance. Cleared away. Beckham. And on to Pele. And Pele on the ball. Not a very complicated catch for the keeper. Fernandez. Perfect challenge. Connor Gallagher. Well, no danger now. Please make yourself known to the nearest steward. Thank you. Thiago Silva. And into the last 30 minutes now. And Portsmouth with the ball once more. Tapsoba. Abadi Pele. Pele. And a goal. The equaliser. Superb entertainment. Well, look at this again. No real power, but great understanding of the situation. That's an excellent goal. So underway again at 2 all. Moises Caicedo. Fernandez. David Beckham. Now with Abadi Pele. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Zule on to Holland. Pele. Oh, might be. And it's in! The back and front! Stunning scenes here! Well, let's have another look at this because Haaland shows great skill to go beyond the defender and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Well, the action goal. underway once Number more, two. and no shortage of entertainment. 3-2. A quarter of an hour remaining here. Chelsea will get the throw in. Caicedo. Enzo Fernandez. Can he find the right pass? Moises Caicedo. Fernandez. Real chance. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. Well, not much time left now, and these supporters are doing everything they can to get their team over the finish line. What an atmosphere. Holland. This could finish it, and a goal to seal the hat-trick! A masterclass in finishing, just can't stop him today! Well, this is worth watching again. Haaland beats the challenge with such ease, and the finish is clinical. He just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? The current scoreline 4 2. Moises Caicedo. We will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here. Pele. It's with Scholes. Now Beckham. 
And there goes the final whistle. And the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome. Well, fairly comfortable in the end, wasn't it? Thought they controlled the middle of the park well. Going forward, there was some really nice, incisive play too. It's a good result for them. Goals. Now with Zule, are showing good vision. Moving it forward. Just looking for the right moment for that final pass. This could square the game. Well, no examination at all for the goalkeeper. And on that basis, he's going to be a bit cross with himself. Skulls. Beckham Abadi Pele David Beckham Oh, did well to skip through Oh, surely Will he? And it goes! The leveller! Thrilling stuff here Well, here it is again He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder and the movement is good making for a comfortable finish It's a really great goal So the ball is running again at 2 all. Dusan Vlahovic. Locatelli with it. Beckham. Holland. Now we have 30 minutes to go. Pele. I must say this looks promising. Pele. Making sure nothing came of it. Pele. Pele! And a goal to re-establish their advantage! Just look at the celebrations! Well, as you can see, this is absolutely brilliant. He's such a good runner with the ball, and it's a great individual goal. Brilliant from him. Well, the game has been restarted. 3-2 here. Paul goals. David Beckham. And moving the ball forward with genuine purpose here. And the danger cleared. 20 minutes remaining. And that is going to be a free kick. Goals. Pele. Tapsoba. Pele. Interception to snuff out the danger. Well, these fans have been brilliant. Just listen to them. Surely this will inspire the players to hang on here. What a noise we've got. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. But really sticking to their task defensively. Kostic. Locatelli with it. Did well to win the ball back.
Federico Chiesa. Vlaovic. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. The referee blows for full time. It ends at a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here. Well, Derek, it was a really tight game, but they were the better side over the 90 minutes, and they fully deserved their victory today.
Beckham. It's with Scholes. And on to Abadi Pele. Niklas Zule. On to Holland. Pele. Pele! And he's done it! Parity again! A magnificent game unfolding. Well, this is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. So underway again, and it's a story of parity. Two goals apiece in this one. And the clearance from Beckham. Paul Scholes. Happy to pass the ball, but remaining patient. Composed and patient passing. And a bit short with the clearance. Pretty simple for the keeper. Rodrigo. Tapsoba. 30 minutes to go then. David Beckham. Paul Scholes. Now with Beckham. Well, it's a good looking position. Is there a goal in the future? Scholes. And a goal it is to put them in front again. No less than they deserve. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And Haaland made the finish look easy, as he so often does. It's a lovely goal. Well, the action underway. Can Real find a response now? Jude Bellingham. Here's Valverde. Niklas Zule, Paul Scholes, now with Zule, Rodrigo, what can Real do from this position? Big chance to get them on terms, well it's a long way off target. Maldini, David Beckham, Pele, and into the last 15 minutes of action, and a timely intervention, Pele, it's with Jose Lu, Real Madrid attacking, and they have to give it a go, with time not on their side. Rodrigo, and on to Bellingham. This could level it. Pele. And on to Pele. Pele, this could finish it, and a goal! There he is, at the double, they just can't subdue him. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Jude Bellingham. Carvajal. And there it is, the final whistle. And the fans will be leaving the stadium with smiles on their faces. Well, Derek, it was a comfortable win in the end. Fully deserved their victory because they dominated every aspect of the game. It was a really good result for them here today.
Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. Abadi Pele. Holland moving it forward. Not getting anxious when they have the ball. This could be the equaliser. And it's in! All square again. What a match this is turning out to be. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. Well, another equaliser. What a topsy-turvy game this has been. Enzo Fernandez. Chilwell. And an astute piece of defending. Ake. On to Holland. Well, it's a decent-looking attack, this. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Well, we're into the final half hour. Edmond Tapsoba. Pele. It's with Scholes. Beckham. Abadi Pele. Ake has it. Just the challenge that was required. Sterling. Enzo Fernandez. Portsmouth doing well to regain possession. Pele. Nathan Ake here. Pele. Well, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. Well, mopping up defensively. And teammates around him. Holland. Keeper getting the touch. Cleared away comprehensively. Well, the fans are making so much noise here. They believe the winner's coming. But it needs a moment of inspiration for one of those players out on the pitch. What a finale we've got. Save, but still a chance. And the teams are level. And every corner counts at this juncture. Clears it away. Scholes. And so into the final five minutes. Well, they're certainly thinking about a winner. Pele. He read the situation defensively and did his job. That is that after 90 minutes. They are level and extra time is coming up. Well, the ball rolling again. No end to the action. It's the first period of extra time. And I must say, this has been a back-and-forth type of game. OK. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. Axel Disassi. There to take it away. Now, let's see what must take the lead here. And it goes down as a missed opportunity from there. Di Sassi. Sterling has it. Oh, given away. Raheem Sterling. How can he take them on and beat them? Still possibilities. Making sure nothing came of it. Edmond Tapsoba. 
Now with Beckham. Abadi Pele. Scholes. It's gone in! And well, he might celebrate on the back of that. Well, just look at the setup here. It's such a clever back heel. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. Well, a dramatic moment near the end. And that might well be the decider. First period of extra time completed. 15 minutes left. Well, the big question, who will come out on top? We're into the second period of extra time here. This is looking threatening. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Zule and support available. Oh, yes! Dispatching it with a plum. Wonderful goal! Well, here's the replay, and what a well-delivered cross this is. Perfectly placed, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Connor Gallagher. Sterling has it. Gallagher just the clearance that was needed Chilwell Moises Caicedo interception to snuff out the danger genuine chance and then is that will put the seal on victory if there were any lingering doubts well as you can see he's a dangerous runner with the ball he has such good balance and pace that's a top class goal isn't it The referee blows for full time. It ends at a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here. Well, Derek, they were the better team all over the pitch. We saw good individual performances. We saw an attack which was always threatening, and they played really well. What a performance that was today. Pele. Holland. Trying his luck. Oh, he's missed, but by a minuscule margin. Well, he couldn't have made better contact than that. His technique is brilliant. He's so unlucky there. Skulls. Niklas Zule. Beckham. Now with Zule. Moving the ball forward with purpose. Very effective passing sequence. Trailing as they are, they must make good use of this corner. Well, nothing comes of it. A oh, chance perhaps. Oh, good save. Well, another corner following on from the last one. And the danger is averted. 
Pele, and this to level it. Oh, how on earth has he missed that? What a glorious opportunity. Well, the flag's gone up, and he was offside, but he didn't know that when he took his shot. Ake. And into the last 30 minutes now. Well, it's an attractive passing move, but it's all about... Fun. This could be the equaliser. Bremer. Well, he was in the right place to intercept. He has teammates around him. Abadi Pele. Holland. And on to Beckham. Pele! Abadi Pele. Well, not the best piece of finishing we've ever seen. Timothy Weah. Locatelli. Kostic has it. Chiesa. Vraovic. Well, he could really get at the opposition. Oh, might be. Oh, must be. There it is. And he could scarcely have had an easier finish. Well, here it is again. It's an easy finish in the end, but what was the keeper thinking? That's a poor bit of defending. No shortage of goals on this match. 3-1. Just 10 minutes remaining here. Might really be able to trouble them here. And the goalkeeper under no pressure. David Beckham. Paolo Maldini. Edmond Tapsoba. Nathan Ake here. Ake. Abadi Pele. Now with Beckham. Now with Abadi Pele. He gets skulls. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today. Defeat for them. Yes, Derek, they were well off their usual standards today. And with the quality that they have in their squad, I think it's fair for the fans to demand more. Too many bystanders for me, just not good enough. Zula. It's with Scholes. I oh, couldn't find a teammate, unfortunately. And a throw in to come. Kostic. Now Rabio. Paul Scholes. Beckham. Nathan Ake here. Fine work from Juve to win back possession. Locatelli. 
Rabio. Paolo Maldini. And on to Pele. And he read it superbly. Kostic. Plenty of support here. Way up. Nicely timed tackle. Paul Scholes. Well, a really good run. And options in the center. This could level it. And a goal to level this contest. All even. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. So underway again at 2 all. Federico Chiesa. Locatelli with it. Vlahovic, teammates available. Rabio. Vlahovic. Can they forge ahead? Well, a powerful effort, but not threatening the goalkeeper, and he'll be disappointed. Paolo Maldini, David Beckham, Paul Scholes. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Well, they're moving it around with real purpose here. And a passing sequence that's easy on the eye to put them ahead. Oh, the crossbar is still reverberating. Pele. Must take the lead here. And the keeper showing tremendous command. Well, it still could be dangerous. Oh, that was begging to be put home, but the goalkeeper has it. Not a chance for them again to play it over from the corner flag. And a good take under duress there. Dusan Vlahovic. And clears the danger. Well, the atmosphere is so tense inside this stadium. But can they find that moment of magic to win this game? The crowd certainly think so. Just listen to them. Can they grab the lead late on? The referee has indicated now Beckham. Chance to finish. Holland denied by the bar back in play here and a goal this is why we adore this game late drama and now they're in front well as the replay shows us it's a decent first effort but he's so quick to get onto the rebound that's a good finish And there it is, the final whistle. The home fans are going to be happy with this result. Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserve the result in the end.
Holland. Now with Zulu. He continues his run. Can they convert? And he's gone and scored to level it again. Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. So the ball is running again at 2 all. Tony Kroos. Here's Carvajal. Bellingham. And the pass was just that little bit off. Nearly found its target. Beckham. Well, couldn't find a teammate, unfortunately. And a throw in to come. Valverde. And out for a throw in. Just misfiring with the pass. Pele. Great effort to keep that one in play. Ake. Pele. And he has options available. Abadi Pele. Can he put them in front? And the keeper in position to grab hold of it. Beckham. Pele. It's with Scholes. Rudiger. Eduardo Camavinga. And Bellingham. Really good challenge. Niklas Zule. Released it nicely. Zule on to Abadi Pele. Really needed to be spot on with the challenge inside the box. Well, mopping up defensively. Paul Scholes. Beckham. Pele. Pele. Good looking move. Chance to put them in front. And unfortunately for him, he had worked his way into an offside position. And I think everybody in the ground could see that was always going to be offside. Maldini. On to Zulu. Just ten minutes remaining here. Tony Kroos. Now Jose Lu. If Real Madrid could come up with a winner at this stage, it could be decisive. Valverde. The Merengues have lost the ball. Well, time is running out to get this winner, but the fans certainly believe it's coming. Just listen to the noise. What a fantastic finish we could have here. Might be onto something with that ball. Danger averted. Holland and disappointingly not even close to hitting the target there yeah he was looking to open up his body guide it into the corner but he's got it all wrong it's a poor attempt in the end and with that the attack fizzles out well that's it for the 90 minutes but this is not over and two 15 minute periods of extra time to come So away they go again, the first period of extra time, and it's legitimate to ask to what extent mental strength will come into this. Looking forward to it. Jose Lu. Now Jose Lu. Fran Garcia. This is Kroos.
Garcia. Tony Kroos. Jose Lu. Paul Scholes. Pele, he's in here. And he clears the danger. Bellingham. Eduardo Camavinga. Well, good run and good ball control. Kroos has support. Eduardo Camavinga. And the first period of extra time comes to an end. Still level here. And so the drama continues here. We're into the second period of extra time. David Beckham. A creative look about this. Ake. Well, it still could be dangerous. Well, they can keep possession now. Pele. Scholes. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Niklas Zule. Beckham. Ake has it. David Beckham. Well, straight at the goalkeeper then. It always had the potential to go the distance, and it has, so a penalty shootout is next. And so the penalty shootout about to commence, and as a player, this is when you have to hold your nerve. That's what you call a mischievous penalty with a stutter step. And he steps up to take his penalty. And there it is, perfectly executed. His turn to try to convert from the spot. Well, some people might have had doubts about his run-up, but the referee didn't see anything wrong. Composure is so important under these trying circumstances. And he scores! Well, it's all about keeping a cool head. Not to be from the penalty spot! Mental preparation is such a big part of this. Clinical, as always, in front of goal. Can he keep us cool? And his own unique run up there, but a good goal. Can he get the better of the keeper? And the penalty converts it here. And so the tension levels have been ratcheted up to full blast. And it's gone in. A goal now, and his team will prevail. He's gambled on direction and won. Can he convert? And he's beaten the keeper. And he steps up to take the shot. Oh, he 
he saved it. It's all over now. Well, that's a decent save, isn't it? He read the penalty and then was good enough to keep it out. What a finish to this match. Well, the weather forecasters promised us an agreeable day for football, and that's exactly what we've got. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And with kickoff just moments away, we really should be in for a magnificent occasion. What might we see today, Stuart? Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward, and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. And he read it superbly. Well, that is how to play advantage. But play is halted this time. Free kick. Well, that didn't go exactly to plan. And no wonder he's getting a few icy stares from his teammates. Yeah, that's a complete waste. He was never going to score from there. And the pass not quite accurate enough. And a throw in then. Grealish. And he might be through here. Oh, marvellous defending to deny him. Well, technically offside, but not by a lot. Abadi Pele. It's with Skulls. Well, from so far out, it didn't appear to be the high percentage option. Close, though, Stuart. Well, he did have options, but that was a good effort in the end. He wasn't too far away, was he? And given away. Pele. Kimmich. They couldn't maintain possession. Pele. And a goal! Now they have their opener, and now they can celebrate. 
Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area, and then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. Number three, Skulls. And on to Abadi Pele. Ake has it. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. Mr. Moon has left the building. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Just trying to keep their opponents on their toes with the passing game. Moving the ball nicely. Looking for that final pass. Oh my goodness, what a strike! From so far out, absolutely sensational! Unstoppable! Well, as you can see, this catches everybody by surprise. Look where he is when he strikes it. That's a great goal. Back underway, level pegging, one goal apiece in this game. Keen. And on to Pele. Federico Chiesa. And just wide with the header. Philip Lam, Federico Chiesa, now Keane, can he take advantage, and a goal, in the lead again, fully deserved. Well this is a very tidy finish as you can see, he's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly, it's an excellent goal. So there we have it, 2-1. Beckham. 20 minutes remaining. Holland. And an astute piece of defending. Maldini. Beckham. Zulu. And the throw-in goes to Portsmouth. Pele, Holland, now with Beckham, and it's gone out of play, goal kick coming up. Well, not much time left now, and these supporters are doing everything they can to get their team over the finish line. And he's made headway, is it going to be, and a goal, he's doubled his total for the day, in superb scoring form. Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection, and he has so much pace on it. It's a great goal. Underway again with the score at 3-1. Keane. Rudiger. And that is the end of the contest, and not a happy outcome as far as the visitors are concerned. Well done, I think it was a subpar performance from them. Just didn't look as sharp as normal, and I don't think they deserved anything from the game. They need to get a better performance in next time out. Well, the weather forecasters promised us an agreeable day for football, and that's exactly what we've got.
I'm your match commentator Derek Ray and sitting alongside me the former Arsenal West Ham and Coventry midfield player Stuart Robson and no question this ought to be a game that gets pulses racing it is Köln and they take on Portsmouth well Derek when looking forward to this game you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch particularly in those central areas whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game Laurent Blanc, or Black. Well, he tried in vain to get himself back onside. Well, he needs to show greater awareness there and hold on to the ball a fraction longer. Goalkeeper's ball, and was always going to be. And the flag does go up, offside. And the danger is averted. Beckham. Ake. Now with Abadi Pele. Pele. On to Holland. Ake. Portsmouth a little wasteful in possession. Zidane. He's in behind. And a goal! 1 0 it is. They've been pushing for the opener, and now they have it. Well, as you can see, what an excellent back heel this is to set up the goal. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. goal Are back underway, Zero. and 1 0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Ake. It's with Scholes. Abadi Pele. Zinedine Zidane. And back with Campos. And he did what he had to do defensively. Perfect challenge. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Alfonso Davies, Scholes, Beckham. Well, the attack looks promising. Well, disappointing end to the move. And he's in. Ake. Abadi Pele. Scholes. That'll be a Portsmouth ball. Well, the referee allowed them to continue, but now he's going to go back and hand out the yellow card, Stuart. Well, he thought he was going to get away with that, but quite rightly, he's got a booking. Saka. Aware of the threat, solving the problem. And the keeper with the ball. 20 minutes to go. And very deftly cut out. Can he take the chance? And a goal! They've added to the lead, much needed security. Well, here it is again, and the clearance just isn't good enough. Giving up possession in a dangerous area, just poor defending all round. Goal, 
2 0 now, and back underway. Paul scores. Now with Pele. Zulu. Maldini doing his job defensively. And so into the final five minutes. Abadi Pele. Nice looking pass. And that will be all for this game. Defeat for the visitors. That's the big story. Well, Derek, they weren't at their best today, both as individuals and as a team. And they didn't deserve anything from the game. Need a much better display next time out. Hello, it's great to be with you, and no problems at all on the weather front as we get ready for this match. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner Stuart Robson. And if this game lives up to its billing, we're in for a riveting occasion. It's Portsmouth versus Inter Miami. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully, we're not disappointed. Okay. Can they forge ahead? There it is, the opening goal of this match, and what a start they've made. Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Luis Diaz. And a relatively straightforward save for the keeper. And he's won the ball. Couldn't keep the ball. This could level it. And collect it tidily. He had plenty to think about. Zulu. Maldini. Niklas Zule. Abadi Pele. Son. And Diaz has it. So Bosloy. Real chance. Well denied only by the post. Well, he got to the ball first, but he just couldn't keep it on target. He's really unlucky there. Beckham Abadi Pele David Beckham deserves credit for winning the ball back Dembele Zinedine Zidane Zidane on the ball determined defending and back with Campos that is that for the first half here Coming up half time, don't forget, we'll be having the lucky raffle and also don't forget the lucky. And they're making a change. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Erling Haaland. It's with Scholes. Might really be able to trouble them here. Well, mopping up defensively.
Paul Scholes. Now with Zulu. Now with Abadi Pele. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. And it's opening up. Had to come up with the ball and did. Zinedine Zidane. And Diaz has it. Patience and persistence of Dembele. And it's a goal. Level again. What a match this is turning out to be. Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. So in business once more on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1. One, one. Holland. Dispossessed by Zanetti. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Skulls. And on to Abadi Pele. Beckham. Can they nudge in front late on here? Can he put them in front? That is a tackle and a half. Well, the fans are making so much noise here. They believe the winner's coming. But it needs a moment of inspiration for one of those players out on the pitch. What a finale we've got. And teammates around him. Committed challenge. And there is the referee's whistle for full time. Even Stephen here, they can't be separated. We were triggered to goals, and Stuart interested to get your verdict. Well, Derek, what a good game it was. Plenty of chances, some good attacking play, and a couple of outstanding individual performances. I really enjoyed that one. Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and delighted to be joined as always by Stuart Robson. And we can't wait for this one to start with justifiable cause. It's Barcelona versus Portsmouth. Well, thanks Derek as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. chance and a goal to open the scoring a very bright start to this one well this is a brilliant strike as you can see he hits it with so much power the keeper had no chance fantastic finish so the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1-0 Ake Ake has it Patient enough build-up, can they carve out a chance? Well, it looked as though it had a chance of going in. Well, he should make the keeper work there, but you sense a goal is coming. Beckham. And on to Beckham. Just missing narrowly on the volley. Well, it's a fantastic effort. Difficult technique, but he caught it so well. He's unfortunate. Abadi Pele. Paul Scholes. He has teammates around him. Pele. And that is the sort of tackle he had scripted in his mind. Cleared away. 
Ronald Koeman. Promising move from Barcelona. Modric. Well, not the best clearance. Just the clearance that was needed. Pelé. Well, couldn't quite find his teammate. And the keeper with the ball. And so it is. The first half story has been written. Now, just a reminder that racism will not be tolerated in any form. And offenders will be removed from the stadium. So back underway here into the second half. Niklas Zule. And the threat averted by Zambrosa. Danger averted. Pele. Pele. Oh, this could square the game. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. This corner could be useful to them. Skulls. Can he take advantage? And he's done it. Parity again. A magnificent game unfolding. Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. goal so, a level contest. 1-1. One, one. He's passed it up there to Kevin De Bruyne. A decent effort, but the keeper read it all the way. And into the last 20 minutes. Mane. Kylian Mbappe. And the danger is averted. Holland. Niklas Zule. Running with the ball confidently. But nothing comes of it. Well, what a final few minutes we have in store for us here. And oh, in with a chance. And it's offside. That was very close. Holland scores. Nicely timed tackle. But he's in with a chance. And that is going to be all for this game. Well, we were treated to goals, but no winners in the Mr. end. Mr. Stuart, what did you make of it? Well, Derek, it was certainly entertaining. Both sides had periods of the game where they were dominant. But overall, I think the draw is just about the right result. Hello, it's great to be with you, and no problems at all on the weather front as we get ready for this match. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as always, is Stuart Robson. And no question, this ought to be a game that gets pulses racing. It's Portsmouth taking on Valencia. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Carrying out his defensive duties. Gerard. Samuel Eto. Jardinho. Opportunity it is. 
And a goal right off the bat. No wonder they're jumping for joy. Well, here we can see just how good this goal is. It has everything. Skill, pace and power. There was no stopping him there. Are back underway and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Abadi Pele. Rudiger. Javier Zanetti. Jairzinho. And Valencia moving the ball with purpose. Well read to ease the pressure. Paolo Maldini. Valencia have it back. And still dangerous. Well, threat averted. Steven Gerrard. Zanetti. Portsmouth doing well to regain possession. Correct. It's with Vinicius Junior. Well, no danger now. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. Display from the display so back underway and advantage Valencia after the first 45, but plenty of time for a few twists and turns before this one is over. Pulit. Well, he had the confidence to try his luck and denied only by the post. Well, the keeper was beaten. He hit it so cleanly, it's just the wrong side of the post. Well, the keeper won't be complaining about that corner kick delivery. His ball all the way. Really getting stuck in. Missing the target by a tiny margin. Well, it's a difficult skill to get right, but he almost pulled it off there. He made such good contact with the ball. 30 minutes left for play. Pele. And Pele on the ball. Good patient build up as they try to fashion something. Well, they are behind, but can they give themselves a boost with this corner? And the problem not completely solved. And a good take under duress there. Here's Eto. Intercepted by Scholes. Abadie Pele. And off the frame of the goal. Well, he just couldn't keep that the right side of the post, could he? But he met it so well. Javier Zanetti. Jairzinho. Eto. And the ball with Gerard. And Valencia in a position of menace. This could finish it. And collected tidily. He had plenty to think about. And that is the end of the game. It goes into the history books as a home defeat. Well, Derek, it was a poor result. It was a really tight contest. Both sides had their chances. Could have gone either way. But in the end, they will be disappointed.
Hello and welcome, and I can tell you it was a dry walk to the gantry today. No rain in sight. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And with the game just moments away now, this really ought to be a superb watch. It's Portsmouth versus RB Leipzig. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield would be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Abadi Pele. Good use of the ball, but can they trouble the defence? And the danger is averted. Doniel Malin. And back with Campos. Paul Scholes. Erling Haaland. And on to Beckham. Pele. Now with Beckham. And there it is. The opening goal. 1 0. And they'll feel they deserve it. Well, let's take another look. And wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Pele. Paul Scholes. Holland. Now with Pele. Pele! And that's sound goalkeeping to hang on to the shot like that. Paolo Maldini. David Beckham. And on to Pele. Ake. And he has options available. Pele. Can't miss, surely. Oh, it's narrowly wide. So unlucky. Goals. Well, he could really get at the opposition. Well, play stopped. It is a free kick. Well, mopping up defensively. That is that for the first half here. And underway again with Leipzig hoping to find a route back into the game. And the pass not quite accurate enough. And a throw in then. Pele. It's with Scholes. Marcel Desai. Daniel Malin. And Riquelme. And played the pass well. Well, that's gone out, and it is going to be a goal kick. Marcel Desai. Now with Bellingham. Back now to the goalkeeper. Jude Bellingham. Bellingham. He won't soon forget. Absolutely right out of the top drawer. Well, we won't get tired of seeing this, will we? Because that struck so sweetly. He really does surprise everybody here, not least the keeper. What a good finish that is. So back underway. One goal apiece here. Pele. Niklas Zule and on to Pele 20 minutes to go in this one might be a chance here Bensavaini on to Desai oh wonderful goalkeeping well you have to say from that sort of distance that's a wonderful save Marcel Desai they're on the well, it could be on for him here. 
Well, the atmosphere is so tense inside this stadium, but can they find that moment of magic to win this game? The crowd certainly thinks so. Just listen to them. Well, here's the replay, and it's a really inviting ball played into the box, begging players to attack it, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. So the ball is... And there it is, the final whistle, and the fans will be leaving the stadium with smiles on their faces. Well, Derek, what a good finish to the game that was. They just wore down the opposition, and in the end, they got their reward. That's a really good win for them. Hello and welcome, and I can tell you it was a dry walk to the gantry today, no rain in sight. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner Stuart Robson. And we're fully convinced this game will live up to its billing. It is Juventus up against Portsmouth. Thanks Derek, well often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today? is the big question and a Portsmouth throw in here Skulls on to Holland Abadi Pele Paul Skulls now with Beckham well he keeps going Cap de Vila. Cleared away. Juventus, the old lady, they know how to keep the ball. What can they do from here? Can he put them ahead? Well, flinging himself at the ball. And a goal here from Harry Kane. He's up on the score. What a boost for his team. Well, here it is again. He's alive to the situation. He makes good contact with the ball and he keeps it down. That's a nice headed goal. So underway again here. 1 0 the score. Beckham. It's with Skulls. Nathan Ake here. Skulls. Fine build-up as they look to add to their advantage. And the referee blows for a foul. No real threat, you've got to say. Harry Kane. He's in here. And a goal here for Juventus. Surely theirs to lose now. Well, as you can see, it was a fairly simple finish in the end, but you still have to be in the right place, keep your composure and finish it off. And that's exactly what he did. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Jude Bellingham. On to Holland. Holland. Pelé. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. Please Mr. Moon has left the building. 
Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. How can he take them on and beat them? Well, it came to nothing in the end. That's going to be a Juve throw. Mo Salah. Bellingham. Tony Kroos. This is Salah. Cleared away comprehensively. Goretzka. And the last touch off the defender. So a corner coming up. Well, here it is again, first to the ball, clever header and a good finish. He's done really well there. Three goals without reply. Skulls. Kane, and he's in. Beckham. Just failing to hit the target with his pass. And it'll be a throw-in. 20 minutes remaining. Holland. Juventus doing well to regain possession. Mo Salah. Good run, very much in control of the situation. Working away patiently, looking for an opening. And a play for a Juventus throw-in. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Mo Salah. Teammates available. Will he finish? Another goal! The lead grows to four now. A rampant display. Well, as you can see, he's a dangerous runner with the ball. He has such good balance and pace. That's a top-class goal, isn't it? It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Wataru Endo. And that will be all for this game anyway, and defeat for the visitors, much to the disappointment of their supporters. You're absolutely right, Derek. While the result is poor, the display was even worse. They never got to grips with the opposition. They were second best in every facet of the game. They need to do a lot of improving before the next time out. Well, the weather forecasters promised us an agreeable day for football, and that's exactly what we've got. I'm Derek Ray, and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And the general feeling is we should be in for a spellbinding occasion. It's Portsmouth facing Barcelona. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out, who will affect the game, and who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Well, no danger now. Pele. And on to Beckham. Moving it forward. Hold on! Can they forge ahead? Well, it was caught nicely enough, but the fact of the matter is it wasn't on target. Garincha. 
Endo. Throw in here for Barcelona. The free kick decision goes the way of Barcelona. Can they jump in front? In it goes! The goal for 1 0, and that changes the dynamic. Well, here we can see just how good the cross from Grealish was, and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. Well, back underway, and 1 0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Simple for the keeper dealing with that long range effort. Holland. Skulls. Abadi Pele. Skulls. Wonderful chance. And a goal. The equaliser. Superb entertainment. Well, just look at this. He's so alive to the situation. That's a neat-headed goal in the end. Back underway. Level pegging. One goal apiece in this game. Well, couldn't find a teammate, unfortunately. And a throw-in to come. David Beckham. Take it away. It must go in, surely. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Well, it's all about passing as they try to hit the front. Gavincha. So the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. Into the second half then. And these two sides are locked together. Just can't really choose between them at the moment. He's in behind. And a goal it is to put them in front again. No less than they deserve. Well, this is a brilliant strike, as you can see. He hits it with so much power. The keeper had no chance. Fantastic finish. Well, back underway as we reflect on the goal that's made it 2-1. Ake. Skulls. Zambrota. And now back with the keeper. Ake. Zambrota. Rabio. Wonderful challenge and a throw in coming up. Is it going to be? Out of play then. Barcelona throw coming up. The post getting in the way. Well, mopping up defensively. Garincha. Now with Zambrosa. Now Rabio. Might be a chance here. And it's in. A goal for Barcelona. They are the team in charge. Well, it's a goal you'd expect him to score, but he kept his cool and he put it away nicely. He'll be happy with that. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? Ten minutes to go. Rabio. Now Holland. Well, it could be on for him here. And a goal to settle the issue once and for all. Well, here we can see just how good this goal is. It has everything. Skill, pace and power. There was no stopping him there. 
They will now make use of the substitutes bench. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Abadi Pele. Zule. Now, and there goes the final whistle. It's gone the wrong way as far as the home fans are concerned. You're absolutely right, Derek. While the result is poor, the display was even worse. They never got to grips with the opposition. They were second best in every facet of the game. They need to do a lot of improving before the next time out. Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray getting ready to bring you all the action accompanied by my broadcasting partner Stuart Robson. And without doubt a match with the potential to bring genuine excitement. It's Arsenal versus Portsmouth. Well thanks Derek as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Mane. Well, nearly shaving the post with that header. Beckham. Mane. Ococha. And Diaz has it. Bruno Guimaraes. Diaz. convincing defensively well he took care of it defensively well they have the ball once more plenty of support here genuine chance and a goal to give them the they have their reward. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box, just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it, while the movement in the box is equal to it. It's such good timing. What a goal. So, underway again here. 1 0 the score. Pele. On to Zule. Pele. Niklas Zule. And on to Abadi Pele. Now, what can they do from here? Holland. This could square the game. And he's done it. Parate again. A magnificent game unfolding. Well, as we see it again, he was never going to miss that, was he? That's a really simple finish in the end. So back underway following the equaliser. And there is the goal! He's found the net! Joy unconfined! Well, as you can see, he doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well balanced, and skillful. That's a top class finish. On they go again, and Arsenal know they need to wipe out that last goal. And with that, the first half draws to a close. So back underway here, into the second half.
David Beckham. And no nonsense defensive clearance. Skulls. Mane. Bukayo Saka. Arsenal move it forward with purpose and control. A fine reading of the situation. Pele. Pele. We're using the space really well, but now can they push on? Skulls. Just wanted to get it out of there. He has teammates around him. Pele. It's got to be. Well, I think the fans are doing everything they can to get their team back into this. But can they find that moment of inspiration and get an equaliser? Well, from that position, he really should be doing more to work the goalkeeper. Ake. David Beckham. And collected tidily. He had plenty to think about. And that is that. The referee blows his whistle for full time. And it's a victory for the visitors. Well done. It was a tight game. Both sides had their moments and chances. But overall, they just about shaded it. A well earned victory. Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. My name is... Eric Ray, ...and sitting alongside me in the commentary box providing expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And with the game just moments away now, this really ought to be a superb watch. It's Milan up against Portsmouth. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Well, slightly off target. And that'll be a throw-in. Valverde. Well, keeping it on the ground. Slightly off target, however. Mascherano. And on to Beckham. David Beckham. It's with skulls, possession and patience, the watchwords. Well, they keep working away, looking for passing lanes. And a goal to open the scoring. A very bright start to this one. Well, here's the replay, and what a well-delivered cross this is. Perfectly placed, and it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. Well, Milan get the ball Number moving three. again, hoping to find a response to that setback. Top class defending. Now look at this, they might... Pele! And a goal! Calls for celebrations again! Two in front! Well, you have to admire this bit of play. Just look how he runs with the ball. He always looked in control, didn't he? That's a brilliant goal. So the ball rolling again, and 
Holland. Couldn't find a teammate. Throw in here. Mascherano. And back with Campos. Holland. Niklas Zule. Scholes. Well, a really good run. And a throw in it's going to be. Paul Scholes. Matic. Matic couldn't protect the ball. And does well to keep it in play. Well, half-time almost upon us, and playing away from home isn't bothering them in the slightest. Stuart, how about your take? Well, from an attacking point of view, it's been a very good performance. I really like the way they've got the ball from back to front, then how the forwards have got away from their markers, and the speed of their attacks as well. It's been a really impressive first half. So to the keeper. The first half here comes to an end. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Zulu, Abadi Pele. Touched on to the woodwork. Over the touchline for a throw-in. Niklas Zule. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Beckham. Can they put it away? Well, last gasp defending, but brilliant defending. Federico Valverde. Could pull one back here. A goal! And it's very much game on here. Well, here it is again. What a good build-up this is. Quick, incisive passing, clever movement, and all done at pace, which led to a simple finish. That's a real joy to watch. So back underway. Intriguing contest this given the 2 1 scoreline. Zulu. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Oh, yes! You cannot strike them any better than that. Brilliant goal. Well, look at the replay here because they don't come much better than this. He hits it so sweetly. What a goal this is. So back underway at 3 1. Hector Bellerin. Now with Abadie Pele. Not forcing the issue. Great composure. Abadie Pele. On to Matic. On to Holland. Butragueño. Butragueño. They've got themselves back into it. A lifeline in this game. And this could be a dramatic finale. Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly, and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. They can't really say defences, and that is that. The referee blows his whistle for full time, and it's a victory for the visitors. Well, Derek, it was a tight game. Both sides had their moments and chances, but overall, they just about shaded it. A well-earned victory.
Well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. I'm Derek Ray, and with me here on the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And we're fully convinced this game will live up to its billing. It's Barcelona, and they take on Portsmouth. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And a goal kick given. Edmond Tapsoba. Pele. It's with Scholes. Holland. Abadie Pele. And continues his run. No nonsense clearance. Holland. And there it is, the breakthrough. That will do nicely. Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. Well, back underway here. What sort of response will that goal elicit from Barca? Walker. And they need to get tighter here. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Frantic action from one end to the other. They weren't ahead for long, and this match is level again. Well, this is a brilliant strike, as you can see. He hits it with so much power, the keeper had no chance. Fantastic finish. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. And the referee blows for a foul. And a goal! Just like that, they're back in front. Well, here it is again. First to the ball, clever header and a good finish. He's done really well there. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the score. What's going to happen next? Good-looking ball. Oh, that is a majestic goal! Volleyed home with precision and style. Superbly done. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box. Just begging someone to get on the end of it. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. So the ball is running again at 2 all. Tapsoba. Ake. Ball skulls. Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. Skulls. That is that for the first half here. Career half time penalty display from the police dog display team. The same as he's for that. So back underway here into the second half. Gerard. Ronaldo. Beckham. Scholes onto Pele. Well, when all was said and done, Stuart, he wasn't a million miles away. No, he wasn't, because he generates so much power from that sort of distance. His technique is brilliant. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Garincha. Oh, might be. Oh, tremendous goal! Technical excellence to finish that one off. Wonderful to have that in your repertoire. 
Well, here's the replay, and it's a really inviting ball played into the box, begging players to attack it. And then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. On with the game then. 3-2. What will happen next? Pele. Ake. Skulls. Oh, there it is. A back and forth sort of match. Now they're level again. The lead lasted nearly minutes. Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power. But just look at the follow through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. Underway again. We can't complain about a lack of entertainment. 3 3. Well, we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. Oh, yes! It's gone in! And now a chance for them to revel in the moment. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just watch his technique here. He just hits through the back of the ball with such power. There's no stopping that. Well, a dramatic moment near the end. And that might well be the decider. Ake, Erling Haaland. Well, they're attacking, but time... This could square the game! Just the clearance that was called for. Oh, just listen to the noise in here. A real opening now. Can he find the net? And a goal! There he is, at the double. They just can't subdue him. Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Goal for SC and that is going to be that. Well, a tale of woe in terms of the scoreline as far as the visitors are concerned here. Well, Derek, they were certainly off the pace today. Beaten to the board in too many key areas. They need to refocus now and perform better next time out. Hello and welcome, and I can tell you it was a dry walk to the gantry today, no rain in sight. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And without doubt, a match with the potential to bring genuine excitement. It is Manchester City, and they take on Portsmouth. Well, thanks Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. There it is, and just the ideal start. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box. Just begging someone to get on the end of it. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. Taps David Beckham. Skulls. Park Ji Sung. Zanetti. Park. And he clears the danger. Pele. And on to Pele. Pele, David Beckham, fine work from City to win the ball back, Wirtz, now with Pele, this attack looks highly promising, big chance, and a goal it is for Manchester City, they are the team on course for victory. Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect, and it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. 
so the ball rolling again at 2 0. Abadi Pele on to Zulu. It is a decent looking attack here. And a bit short with the clearance. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. And that came off the defender, so it'll be a corner. Teo Hernandez. And on to Pele. Teo Hernandez now. Hernandez. Oh, surely. In it goes. A three goal cushion. This is astonishing stuff. Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top class player. So the action continues, and City really cantering to victory here. And so it is, the first half story has been written. Underway in the second half. And after such a lopsided first 45 minutes, is it possible to think they could turn this around? Erling Haaland, just knocking it around, looking to carve out a chance. And under pressure, that was a fine play. Beckham. Pele. Abadi Pele. And the danger cleared. Abadi Pele. Oh, he's given the ball away and fed back to the goalkeeper. Zula into the final 20 minutes. Ake. Oh, yes! It's gone in! And now a chance for them to revel in the moment. Well, here's the replay, and it's a really inviting ball played into the box, begging players to attack it. And then what a finish by Haaland. He just seems to have a great understanding of where to place himself in the box. That's a brilliant goal. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Trying to really get at the opposition here. Teo Hernandez. Frank Reichard now. Still not clear. And there it is. That will put the seal on victory if there were any lingering doubts. Well, here it is again. And the clearance just isn't good enough. Giving up possession in a dangerous area. Just poor defending all round. It's a massive lead. And it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Now with Park. Pele. Oh, a save right out of the top drawer. Super stop. Florian Wirtz. Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Surely. And he's on. What a performance! Well, as you can see, what a good bit of play this is. The build-up is excellent. One and two touch passing, clever movement and a fairly simple finish. Great team goal. And that is going to be that. Well, a tale of woe in terms of the scoreline as far as the visitors are concerned here. You're absolutely right, Derek. While the result is poor, the display was even worse. They never got to grips with the opposition. They were second best in every facet of the game. They need to do a lot of improving before the next time.
Hello, it's great to be with you, and I don't think anybody is going to complain, especially about the weather. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and ready to provide expert analysis alongside me is Stuart Robson. And we're fully convinced this game will live up to its billing. It's Luton Town versus Portsmouth. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Tony Kroos. Barella. Opportunity here. In it goes. That will do nicely for starters. First goal of the game. Well, as you can see, he's a dangerous runner with the ball. He has such good balance and pace. That's a top-class goal, isn't it? And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? And he keeps going. Holland. Well, the danger is still there. Lacazette. Neymar. This is Kroos. Andrew Robertson. And the forward run by Lacazette with the ball at his feet. He has options around him. Opportunity. And there it is. A two-goal cushion now, and they just need to keep the concentration. Well, that was a fairly easy finish in the end, but he still had to take it. He won't mind how they come, though. So the ball rolling again. 2-0 the three. score. Federico Chiesa. Holland. Cantona. And a goal to increase their advantage to three. Can they be stopped? Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. And Blistering first half down. display and just Mr. look at that score. Pele, and the referee takes exception to the challenge, free kick. Just wanted to get it out of there. Well, good run this. Now what can he do with it? Well, mopping up defensively. The first half here comes to an end. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Okay. And that is going to be a free kick. Neymar. Tony Kroos. And Neymar with teammates to help him. Cantona. Smuggled away. Pele. On to Tapsoba. But after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. Pele. David Beckham. Abadi Pele. Into the final 20 minutes. Opportunity, Lacazette. In it goes! Such a complete performance. Four in front now.
Well, just look at this again. Great technique, good accuracy, and enough power to beat the keeper. That's an excellent goal. A lopsided contest, 4-0. Paul scores. Well, play stopped. It is a free kick. And the substitution will occur now. And it still could be dangerous. And problem solved for now. Bellingham. Cantona. Well, it comes down to the final five minutes. Neymar playing with purpose and control. Oh, Chiesa! Straight forward for the keeper. And that is the end of the contest and not a happy outcome as far as the visitors are concerned. Well, Derek, that just wasn't good enough today. A lack of a game plan, too many players below par and not enough energy all around the pitch. A really worrying performance for me. Hello and welcome, and I can tell you it was a dry walk to the gantry today, no rain in sight. My name is Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And everyone here on tenterhooks, you'd have to say, with good reason, it is Manchester United versus Portsmouth. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. And he clears the danger. Roy Keane, Rio Ferdinand. Teammates available. Paul Scholes. Now Beckham. And he took care of it defensively. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. And I think he'll be a bit cross with himself based on that free kick. Not the execution he was looking for. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. This is a message for Tyler Berry. That's Tyler Berry. Good looking sequence. Could go ahead. Can they forge ahead? Aware of the threat, solving the problem. Holland. Nicely timed tackle. And United regaining possession here. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. And the attack looks promising. Just wanted to get it out of there. Park. So a throw in here. Paul goals. And on to Abadie Pele. And the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Underway then in the second half. And the two teams matching each other just about stride for stride. And out of play, the pass nearly worked out, but not quite. Park. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw-in. Schweinsteiger. Pele. Erling Haaland. Chances on. 
Edwin van der Sar. Shaw. It's with Scholes. 30 minutes left for play. Encouraging stuff from United. Well, it was a risky challenge, but brilliantly executed. Beckham. That's useful play. Decent effort there. Well, he has such good technique. He really did hit that well. He certainly came close there. Abadi Pele. Pele. Paul Scholes. Pele. And he might be through here. And there it is. The deadlock has been broken. We wondered if a goal would arrive. Well, now it has. And will there be a response now? Well, he wasn't going to waste this chance. 1v1 against the keeper, and he slots it away with great confidence. That's a good finish. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Beckham. Now with Zulu. Now Beckham. Clears it away. A goal! That's two for him today. They simply can't stop him. No wonder he's celebrating. Well, let's take another look. And wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. So back underway with the scoreline standing at 2 0. Shaw. Schweinsteiger. Plenty of support here. Determined defending. And so the final whistle here. The visitors come out on top, Stuart. Well, fairly comfortable in the end, wasn't it? Thought they controlled the middle of the park well. Going forward, there was some really nice, incisive play too. It's a good result for them. Hello and welcome, and I can tell you it was a dry walk to the gantry today, no rain in sight. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting next to me here on the commentary gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham United midfield man, Stuart Robson. And with kickoff just moments away, we really should be in for a magnificent occasion. It's Portsmouth versus Wolverhampton Wanderers. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Erling Haaland. And on to Abadie Pele. On to Zulu. And on to Beckham. Haaland. Well, from so far out, it didn't appear to be the high percentage option. Close, though, Stuart. Well, he did have options, but that was a good effort in the end. He wasn't too far away, was he? Zambrotta. Paul Scholes. Marquinhos. They've regained possession. Now, options are plenty. 
Arsenal must struggle to get it away properly. Oh, a moment of pure class! Had to catch it perfectly, and didn't he just? Well, just look at this again. Great technique, perfect contact, and a brilliant finish. Top stuff. And Wolves get us moving again. Certainly a swift response required after the setback. Rudiger, Bellingham, and Wolves in a position of menace. And this Roy, this could level it. Well, last gasp defending, but brilliant defending. Pele. Beckham. So getting close to the half-time interval, and it's going with home advantage, albeit not by a lot. Stuart, what have you made of what you've seen so far? Well, it's been a tight game so far, but they've just had that little bit more quality on the ball, particularly in midfield, where they've just started to take control. They'll be fairly happy going in at half-time if it stays like this. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Coming up, half time, don't forget, we'll be having the lucky raffle. And also, don't forget the lucky program draw. So the ball is rolling again. Wolves trailing going into the second half. Will they come up with the right response? Going well. And he clears the danger. Oh, a vital interception. David Beckham. Ake has it. Beckham. Wolves doing well to regain possession. Skulls. Bellingham. Well, he's certainly not alone. He succeeded in getting his fist to it. Pele. David Beckham. And Pele on the ball. And clears the danger. 15 minutes left for play. And an astute piece of defending. Van Nistelrooy. Zule, now with Beckham, Paul Scholes, five minutes remaining, and one thing is certain, no one is leaving, because it's still close, the attack continues, they're making considerable progress, oh this looks useful, well having been awarded the corner, they'll no doubt look to put the issue beyond all doubt, the clearance wasn't decisive, Maldini, Oh, a fine save at this point in the game. Well, he's just about kept them in it, but time's against them here. Clears it away. The referee blows for full time. It ends in a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here. Well, Derek, it was very competitive. Chances at both ends, but I feel they were the better team, and they deserve their victory. Hello, it's great to be with you, and no problems at all on the weather front as we get ready for this match. My name is Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson. And no question, this ought to be a game that gets pulses racing. It's Milan 
and they take on Portsmouth. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, event opportunity here, and back it goes. Maldini. It's with Scholes. Pele. Paul Scholes. Working away patiently, looking for an opening. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? At times, they make passing look easy. Well, from so far out, it didn't appear to be the high percentage option. Close, though, Stewart. Well, he did have options, but that was a good effort in the end. He wasn't too far away, was he? Abadi Pele. And on to Pele. Difficult to stop him. Just wanted to get it out of there. Pele, opportunity to go ahead. And a goal! That will do it. They've been pushing for it. And now they've been rewarded. Well, here it is again. And the clearance just isn't good enough. Giving up possession in a dangerous area. Just poor defending all round. So Milan get the ball moving once more. How will they react? Mateus. And a good take under duress there. Pele. And on to Beckham. Skulls. Ziele. That'll be a Portsmouth ball. Holland and the referee felt he had to blow the whistle no nonsense clearance just the clearance that was called for a chance then for the respective managers to address their charges it is half time here. Time here. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Abadi Pele, not forcing the issue. Great composure. Now, will they be able to play it in behind the defence? And a goal to increase their advantage to two overall. That little bit of a cushion. Now it's all about keeping the concentration. Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power. But just look at the follow-through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. So the ball rolling again at 2-0. Well, he was a long way from goal, but that didn't seem to bother him. Well, he won't strike a football much better than that. That certainly had the keeper worried. Paolo Maldini. Beckham. Pelé. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Pelé. And the ball back with Milan now. And he might be through here. A goal! And it's very much game on here. Well, here it is. 1v1 against the keeper, and the outcome was never really in doubt. He never looked like missing that. So there we have it. 2-1. And pretty routine for the goalkeeper. Nice looking pass. He's in here. Well, nothing comes of it. Pele. Skulls. And on to Pele. 
It's with Scholes. Pele. Hold on. Oh, it's in. And that might be the goal that clinches it for them. No looking back now, surely. Well, as you can see, he makes it look easy in the end. But I think that's a good finish. He'll be pleased with that. No shortage of goals on this match. 3-1. Gianluca Zambrotta. Five minutes to go. Could pull one back here. And it's in! They've eaten into their advantage. And this is not over. Not yet, anyway. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. 3-2 it is. Who would have predicted that before a ball was kicked? Pelé. On to Zulu. And that is that. The referee blows his whistle for full time, and it's a victory for the visitors. Yes, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserve the result in the end. Hello and welcome, and I can tell you it was a dry walk to the gantry today, no rain in sight. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And with the game just moments away now, this really ought to be a superb watch. It is Bayern Munich up against Portsmouth. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. And the throw-in goes to Portsmouth. Pelé. Kyung Min Son. And out for a throw in. Just misfiring with the pass. David Beckham. Tapsoba. And he's made headway. And that is going to be a free kick. David Beckham, Ake, Scholes, Pele, great opportunity, well they stopped them in their tracks, Zinedine Zidane, Goretzka has it now, in with a chance, and top notch as well as brave goalkeeping, well he comes off his line at just the right time, he read that brilliantly. Beckham. It's with Scholes. And there it is, the half-time whistle. With the cross please Mr. Moon has left the building. Into the second half, then. And these two sides are locked together. Just can't really choose between them at the moment. Scholes. On to Pele. Well, he was a long way from goal, but that didn't seem to bother him. Well, he won't strike a football much better than that. That certainly had the keeper worried. Zinedine Zidane. Son. Florian Wirtz. Rodri. Just the challenge that was required. 
Abadi Pele. Well, we're into the final Luis half hour. No danger here as he runs at them. And the danger cleared. Holland. Pele. There to take it away. And Bayern Munich now in potentially a dangerous position. And they might forge ahead. And there it is. The deadlock has been broken. We wondered if a goal would arrive. Well, now it has. And will there be a response now? Well, he puts it away really well, as you can see. But you'd expect him to score from that range. But they all count. What a big moment in the dying Number embers. Two. Will it prove decisive here? Zule. Just 10 minutes to go. Well, late in the game here, they know what they need, and that's an equaliser. Well, what an atmosphere we've got here. These Bayern fans are driving the players on. Surely they'll hold on here. And in with a real chance. Can they cover up? And Pele doing the defending. And that is going to be that. Well, a tale of woe in terms of the scoreline as far as the visitors are concerned here. Well, Derek, it was a hard-fought contest, which neither side completely dominated, but the result will certainly hurt them. They need to bounce back next time out. Hello, it's great to be with you, and I don't think anybody is going to complain, especially about the weather. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry, and delighted to be joined, as always, by Stuart Robson. And every reason to believe we're in for an entertaining match here. It's Benfica versus Portsmouth. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Abadi Pele. Ake. Now with Pele. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. Didn't fall the keeper. And just wide with the header. Gianluca Zambrotta. Vieira. Zinedine Zidane high quality defending Pele Beckham Jude Bellingham and Torres on the ball Pass not finding its target. Skulls. This is a message for all away supporters. Paul Skulls. And he's in. And a goal! That will do it. They've been pushing for it. And now they've been rewarded. Well, as you can see, he's given far too much space. But he still had some work to do. And I think that's a very tidy finish. It was never in doubt.
Well, the ball is moving Number once more. Nine, How important Collins. will that opening goal prove to be? Edmond Tapsoba. It's Vieira's interception. Oh, he's through here. And a goal. The equaliser. Superb entertainment. Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. So, a level contest. 1-1. One, one. Pele. Pele. Maldini. Zinedine Zidane. Ferran Torres. The first half here comes to an end. Would you prospect to take please first? Mr. Moon is in the building. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. Ake. And on to Beckham. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Well, from so far out, it didn't appear to be the high percentage option. Close, though, Stuart. Well, he did have options, but that was a good effort in the end. He wasn't too far away, was he? Beckham. Can they forge ahead? And a goal! Just like that, they're back in front. Well, here it is. Head down, hit through the ball, and get it on target. That's a top-class finish. There was no stopping that. Well, as they kick off again, 2-1 the current state of affairs. Jude Bellingham. And on to Zambrota. Torres. Patient enough build up. Can they carve out a chance? Can this could square the game. Sound piece of goalkeeping. <laughs> 20 minutes to go. And they'll get ready for the throw in. And very deftly cut out. Son. And they've done it to square the game once again. Exhilarating. Well, this is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. Dembele. Vieira Javier Zanetti and a goal at this stage could be decisive and Bellingham oh can you believe it with so little time left surely that will be the winner amazing scenes here well that was a fairly easy finish in the end but he still had to take it he won't mind how they come though what a big moment in the dying embers will it prove decisive here and just five minutes remaining. And in with a real chance. Well, to think he only had the keeper to beat. Couldn't take the opportunity. And that will be all for this game. Defeat for the visitors. That's the big story. Well, I thought it was a really intense game. Lots of quality, lots of good individual displays. In the end, though, they won't be happy with the defeat, nor the manner of it, conceding so late on.
Well, the weather forecasters promised us an agreeable day for football, and that's exactly what we've got. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And no question, this ought to be a game that gets pulses racing. It's FC Goa, and they take on Portsmouth. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Well, they keep the ball moving. Danger averted. Moving it forward. Can he put them ahead? Can he put them in front? And a goal! Not wasting much time today. They strike first. Well, let's take another look. And wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1 0. Abadi Pele. Holland. Paul Scholes. Making progress. fine build up as they look to add to their advantage Pele oh it's a penalty in the opinion of the referee and maybe they'll be able to level this up chance to equalize here is this the moment and the keeper denies them from the spot smuggled away Deutschkopf, well it could be on for him here, there it is, two to the good now, and that gives them a buffer. Well as you can see, he's a great talent, what a run, what a goal, and what a play he is. So back on the way, with the lead standing at 2-0 goals and on to Beckham and Pele on the ball they keep plugging away and it's in this game very much back on as a contest well here we can see it again and no wonder the manager is furious they just have to get tighter here deal with the danger otherwise that's the outcome not good enough defensively and the ball is moving again. Anyone's guess how this is going to finish? 2-1 currently. Holland. Zinedine Zidane. The first half here comes to an end. So back underway here into the second half. Erling Haaland. Zule. Couldn't quite hang on. Danger averted for now. Zinedine Zidane. Haaland. And it's with Risto Stoichkov. Guimaraes. What can they do from here? Can he put it away? They've gone and scored again. They're doing everything in their power to make sure they're not pegged back. Well, just look at this again. He's so hard to knock off the ball once he gets going. Of course the defending could be better, but that's a great individual goal. So the ball is moving again. We've been treated to four goals. 3-1 the score. Pelé. Holland. Bruno Guimaraes. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Decent effort there. Well, he has such good technique. He really did hit that well. He certainly came close there. Niklas Zule. 
Tapsoba. Beckham. And on to Pele. Ake. And on to Beckham. Pele. Ake. And the keeper has it now. And Beckham averting the danger. Skulls. Pele. Well, making considerable progress with the ball. And that will be all for this game anyway. And defeat for the visitors, much to the disappointment of their supporters. Well done. They weren't at their best today, both as individuals and as a team. And they didn't deserve anything from the game. Need a much better display next time out. And a warm welcome on what is a fine day for football. I'm delighted to be able to report. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player, Stuart Robson. And every reason to believe we're in for an entertaining match here. It's Portsmouth, and they take on the strongest. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. And in with a real chance. And the flag was up in good time. It's offside. Well, he should have realised that was going to be offside. That's a poor decision to play that pass. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Blanc. And a goal kick is the outcome. Now, what can they do from here? Well, doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. Well, he must proceed with great care. Could easily have been cautioned. Laurent Blanc. No nonsense clearance. Well, that ball looks promising. And Baston, and there it is, the breakthrough. That will do nicely. Well, here it is again. And when you clear the ball, you have to get height and distance on it to give your defence time to readjust. They don't do that. It's a poor clearance. And suddenly the ball's in the back of the net. Holland. Sloppy in possession from Portsmouth. Paul Scholes. Beckham. Scholes. And scope for them to produce something exciting. And he did what he had to do defensively. Beckham. It's with Scholes. Nathan Ake here. Oh, Portsmouth unable to retain the ball. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. Away they go again. Second half is underway here.
And still an opportunity. Paul goals. And on to Abadi Pele. Skulls, Skulls, and it goes! The leveller! Thrilling stuff here! Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. So, a level contest. 1-1. Wirtz. Javier Zanetti. Right card. Can he put them ahead? Must take the lead here. And it's in! The back in front. Stunning scenes here. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? Niklas Zule. Now with Pele. Well, not cleared away completely. Cleared away by Rijkaard. Tapsoba. Beckham. Pele. Abadi Pele. And just missing the target. Well, they're at least making chances. Now they need to be more clinical. Cleared away. Paolo Maldini. Oh, he's given the ball away. Maldini getting it away. Well, I'm not sure they deserve anything from this game, but there's still time to find that equaliser. And you have to say the crowd have been brilliant. They're still driving the team on. He has teammates around him. And no-nonsense defensive clearance. And time for the change now. And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today. Defeat for them. Well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but I never felt they were in control of the game. A frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time. Well, the weather forecasters promised us an agreeable day for football, and that's exactly what we've got. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And with kickoff just moments away, we really should be in for a magnificent occasion. It's Portsmouth taking on Chelsea. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Ake, Beckham. Well, it could be on for him here. Surely, and a goal! Not bad for starters. They take an early lead. Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. 1-0 then. Okay. Likes to run with the ball at his feet. Beckham. Pele. On to Holland. And he's broken free. And a goal to really bolster things for them. Two in front.
Well, as you can see, this is absolutely brilliant. He's such a good runner with the ball, and it's a great individual goal. Brilliant from him. So the ball rolling again. 2-0 the score. And the danger is averted. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. Well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw-in. And it's opening up, and a goal! Not over just yet. Well, he puts it away really well, as you can see. So he's expecting to score from that range, but they all count. Paul scores. Nathan Ake here. And on to Beckham. And a passing sequence that's easy on the eye. Could be. There it is. Two to the good now. And that gives them a buffer. Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. No shortage of goals on this match. 3-1. Oh, great vision. Well, he could really get at the opposition. Ake. Abadi Pele. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Coming up half-time, don't forget, we'll be having the lucky raffle and also don't forget the lucky programme floor. Well, the way they go again, and there can be no denying it, a huge gulf between the teams in the first half. Will we see a response from Chelsea in the second 45? And Chelsea get the decision from the referee. Mbappe. Beckham. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Niklas Zule. And he's made headway. And failed to keep himself onside, unfortunately. And steered back under a bit of pressure. Zule. Pele. Now Holland. Beckham. A fine use of the ball. I think I spoke too soon. Wasn't the best of passes finally. A oh, tremendous vision. He's in here. Abadi Pele. And a Portsmouth throw in here. Holland. On to Zule. Now with Abadi Pele. Oh, surely. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. And time for the change now. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Steven Gerrard. On the ball, Rafael Leao. Ake. The referee blows for full time. It ends at a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here. You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent. Full of energy and pace, and the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance.
Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. I'm Derek Ray, ready here in the commentary position, and alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and commentary midfielder Stuart Robson. And we can't wait for this one to start with justifiable cause. It's Los Angeles FC up against Portsmouth. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And they continue to advance, and a lot of options here, and fine goalkeeping. Well, he almost nodded that one in. Ake. And Diaz has it. Jude Bellingham. And intercepts again. Johan Cruyff. Luis Diaz. Can they forge ahead? And there it is, the breakthrough. That will do nicely. Well, as you can see, he's a great talent. What a run, what a goal, and what a play he is. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. David Beckham. Scholes. Beckham. Oh, yes! He's going to be proud of that moment. What purity of strike. Caught it absolutely perfectly. Well, let's take another look because this is a special goal. He's so far out when he strikes it. He couldn't have hit that any better. Back underway. Level two. pegging. One goal apiece in this game. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. And cleared away by Zambrotta. Chance to put them in front. And a goal! Well, as you can see, he doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well-balanced and skillful. That's a top-class finish. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the score. What's going to happen next? Pelé. It's with Scholes. Abadi Pelé. Well, they're eyeing that final pass, you just feel. Scholes. Jairzinho. And with that, the first half draws to a close. With the cross Mr. Moon has left the building. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Patience and persistence on the passing front in the name of finding an equaliser. Well, hit with ferocity when accuracy was required. Luis Diaz, Ronaldo. And the keeper with the ball. Jude Bellingham. Luis Diaz, Johan Cruyff. Danger averted. Well, as you can see, he's a dangerous runner with the ball. He has such good balance and pace. That's a top-class goal, isn't it? So back underway, the game having been squared at 2-2. Patrick Vieira. Now, Cruyff. And he's given it away. Into the final 20 minutes. Pelé. 
It's with Scholes. Just failing to hit the target with his pass. And it'll be a throw-in. It has gone over the touchline for what'll be a throw-in. Johan Cruyff. Well, the atmosphere is so tense inside this stadium. But can they find that moment of magic to win this game? The crowd certainly thinks so. Just listen to them. Must take the lead here. And a goal! At this stage of the game, it might be decisive. And just look at their supporters. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just watch his technique here. He just hits through the back of the ball with such power. There's no stopping that. Well, they've decided to make a change. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Ake. Well, they're attacking, but time is the great enemy. This could be the equaliser. Can he find the net? What late excitement. And the match is level. Well, that was a fairly easy finish in the end, but he still had to take it. He won't mind how they come, though. And the referee brings this contest to an end. It certainly was pulsating. It had us on the edge of our seats. Stuart, your take. Well, it was excellent entertainment. We saw good quality football played at a high intensity and goals as well. The draw is a fair reflection of how the game was played. Hello, it's great to be with you, and no problems at all on the weather front as we get ready for this match. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And every reason to believe we're in for an entertaining match here. It's Portsmouth taking on Real Madrid. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. And Real's creative tendencies coming to the fore. Cole! Oh, marvellous save! Great goalkeeping! Well, here it is again, and the keeper's lost his concentration here. He's totally in the wrong position. He'll be disappointed with that. And the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Zule. And on to Pele. Paul scores. Well, they're moving the ball neatly enough. Just looking for that decisive pass. Will he finish? And a goal! Real excitement here. The equaliser. Well, here's the replay. And what a well-delivered cross this is. Perfectly placed. But the finish is so easy. He's given far too much time and space. He doesn't even have to jump. Poor defending, you have to say. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Paul Scholes. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. 
Ozim Hen. And on to Cole. Struggling to get it away. Paul Scholes. Bellingham. Cole. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. So the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. Coming up half time, don't forget, we'll be having the lucky raffle and also don't forget the lucky program draw. Well, as they get the, the ball rolling, rolling again, programs. interesting to see how the second half pans out. And the pass not quite accurate enough. And a throw in then. Skulls. Pele. Couldn't find a teammate. Throw in here. Paul Scholes, Pele, Holland, effective challenge, Ozim Hen, oh big chance, and it's in, the back in front, stunning scenes here. Well, as you can see, he doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well-balanced and skillful. That's a top-class finish. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Abadi Pele. And an astute piece of defending. Zinedine Zidane. And Neymar. Oh, genuine chance. And a goal it is for Real Madrid. They are on a victory course. Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power. But just look at the follow through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Beckham. Well, keeping it on the ground. Slightly off target, however. Paolo Maldini. And out for a throw in. Just misfiring with the pass. Abadi Pele. Skulls. Plenty of support here. Well, the keeper committed himself. Zambrotta. Well, nearly there. This game almost over. And looking at the fans, Stuart, they appear to me to be more than a bit gutted. Well, they've had no defensive game plan today. The forwards haven't pressed the ball. The midfield players have been outnumbered. And there is too much space between the defenders at the back. That's been the problem. And that is the end of the game. It goes into the history books as a home defeat. Well, Derek, they were at their best today, both as individuals and as a team. And they didn't deserve anything from the game. Need a much better display next time out. Hello, it's great to be with you, and I don't think anybody is going to complain especially about the weather. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting next to me here on the commentary gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham United midfield man, Stuart Robson. And everyone here on tenterhooks, you'd have to say with good reason. It's Portsmouth taking on Manchester United. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. 
Niklas Zule. Garincha. Can they forge ahead? An early goal. It is the ideal opening. Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. And back underway. 1-0 it is. Abadi Pele. Skulls. Poland. Decent effort there. Well, he has such good technique. He really did hit that well. He certainly came close there. Jude Bellingham. Ruud Hurit. Garincha. Paolo Maldini. Maldini doing his job defensively. Oh, goodness gracious me. It's a special, special goal from miles out. Well, as you can see, this is a great bit of skill. He hits it perfectly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant strike. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Oh, yeah, yeah. David Beckham. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Paul Scholes. Scholes. Oh, to trim back the lead. Holland. Well, can they open up the defence here? Not getting anxious when they have the ball. Beckham. On to Pele. Unable to get himself back onside here. Well, he was always going to be offside. That was the wrong option. That is that for the first half here. Coming up half time, don't forget, we'll be having the lucky raffle and also don't forget the lucky program floor. So the ball rolling again, and United very much in charge of this one. So let's see how the second half pans out. Paolo Maldini. Holland. David Beckham. Moving the ball forwards, how creative can they be? Safe pair of hands, did his job. Henri. Paul Scholes. Bellingham. Garincha. Great opportunity. Well, from that position, he really should be doing more to work the goalkeeper. Ruud Hurit. And the keeper in position to grab hold of it. And Bellingham. Well, he was a long way from goal, but that didn't seem to bother him. Well, he won't strike a football much better than that. That certainly had the keeper worried. Portsmouth a little wasteful in possession. Ten minutes to go. Garincha, opportunity! Well, he took care of it defensively. So the final whistle almost upon us, and this is not exactly what the home fans had in mind when they arrived at the ground today, Stuart. And it's opening up. There's the goal! Surely now, that is that! Well, 
Well, this is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Three goals without reply. And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today. Defeat for them. Well, Derek, that just wasn't good enough today. A lack of a game plan, too many players below par, and not enough energy all around the pitch. A really worrying performance for me. Hello, it's great to be with you, and I don't think anybody is going to complain especially about the weather. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson. And everyone here on tenterhooks, you'd have to say with good reason, it's Portsmouth versus Barcelona. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out, who will affect the game, and who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Moving the ball forward with purpose. So a corner kick it'll be following the deflection. No nonsense clearance. He's in with a chance. It's got to be. And the referee has pointed to the spot. Penalty given. This to make it 1-0. Can he put it away? And he slots it home with confidence. One nil then. Six. Paul Scholes Ake has it Scholes not really the ideal clearance Portsmouth doing well to regain possession. Bellingham. Guimaraes. And on to Muller. He's in here. And it's in! A goal for Barcelona! They are the team in charge. Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Pelé. On to Zulu. Well, half-time coming up, and this is not exactly what the home fans came to see. Stuart, your thoughts on what we've seen? Well, they can certainly play better than this. They've been too slow in possession and not aggressive enough with their closing down. Those two things have to change in the second half if they're to turn this around. So the whistle then. We're up the halfway now, stage in this match. And away they go again. The pendulum having already swung Barcelona's way. Let's see how the second half pans out. And unable to pick out a teammate. And that'll be a throw. Beckham. Holland. It's with Scholes. David Beckham. Scholes. Ake. On to Holland. Nathan Ake here. 
Holland on to Pele. And there it is! Still life left in this game, and they have the momentum now. Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly, and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. So back underway at 2 1. Tight contest here. Skulls. Ake. And cleared away. 20 minutes remaining. And Bellingham. It's got to be. A goal! That's two for him today. They simply can't stop him. No wonder he's celebrating. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. So the ball is moving again. We've been treated to four goals. 3-1 the score. Ake, Pele, Marquinhos, Bruno Guimaraes, Zidane on the ball, Müller, now who can he play it to? Zidane, it might be, It's offside, and perhaps he should have been a bit more alert. And maybe a little bit more aware in the box. He was just too static. And the substitution will occur now. And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today. Defeat for them. You're absolutely right, Lerin. They really struggled to get to grips with the game. They always seem second to the ball, and then just a few mistakes at the back, and it's cost them. Poor performance all round. And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And if this game lives up to its billing, we're in for a riveting occasion. It's Paris Saint-Germain, and they take on Portsmouth. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Will he finish? And there it is, the opening goal, the ideal way to start. Well, as you can see, he doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well-balanced and skillful. That's a top-class finish. And back underway, 1-0 it is. Goals. Ake. It's with Skulls. Ake has it. Frantic action from one end to the other. They weren't ahead for long, and this match is level again. Well, here's the replay, and it's a really inviting ball played into the box, begging players to attack it. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Are they going to forge ahead? Oh, he saved it well.
Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box, just begging someone to get on the end of it. But the finish is so easy. He's given far too much time and space. He doesn't even have to jump. Poor defending, you have to say. Abadi Pele. On to Zulu. Fine build-up as they look to add to their advantage. Just knocking it around, looking to carve out a chance. And a goal to level this contest. All even. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. So the ball is running again at 2 all. Kunde. And support available. Oh, yes! A goal! Exactly what they were looking for, and he's come up with it. Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection, and he has so much pace on it. It's a great goal. And the ball is moving again. 3 2. Number 10, Scholes. Blanc. Kunde. On to Holland. Vieira. Oh, he's given the ball away. Abadi Pele. And on to Pele. That is that for the first half here. Coming up half time, don't forget, we'll be having the Lucky Raffle and also don't forget the Lucky Program draw. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. Pele. In search of the equaliser. And the keeper got there. And it goes! The leveller! Thrilling stuff here. Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area, and then what a finish by Haaland. He just seems to have a great understanding of where to place himself in the box. That's a brilliant goal. Vieira. Couldn't find a teammate. Throw in here. Pele. Great effort to keep that one in play. Haaland. They've given it away. Scholes. Well, a long-distance effort and a highly respectable one, Stuart. Well, he surprised everybody, including me. It's a decent effort, you have to say. Zinedine Zidane. Abadi Pele. Well, he was a long way from goal, but that didn't seem to bother him. Well, he won't strike a football much better than that. That certainly had the keeper worried. Erling Haaland. Well, still an issue here. Out of play, PSG throw in forthcoming. PSG on the attack as the minutes stick away. Can he put them in front? And a goal! This is why we adore this game. Late drama, and now they're in front. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Ake. And so into the final five minutes. Vieira clearing his lines. Pele. And clears the danger. 
And that is going to be that. Well, a tale of woe in terms of the scoreline as far as the visitors are concerned here. Well, I thought it was a really intense game. Lots of quality, lots of good individual displays. In the end, though, they won't be happy with the defeat, nor the manner of it, conceding so late on. Hello, it's great to be with you, and no problems at all on the weather front as we get ready for this match. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting next to me with his tactics charts at the ready is Stuart Robson. And with the game just moments away now, this really ought to be a superb watch. It's Portsmouth up against Bayern Munich. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Well, a good place to win it back, and let's see what it leads to. He has teammates around him. Holland. And that came off the defender, so it'll be a corner. Aware of the threat, solving the problem. Must take the lead here. Well, they'll try to keep the pressure on in the form of another corner. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. Zambrotta. Dembele. Guimaraes. On to Pushkash. And fed back to the goalkeeper. Niklas Zule. Edmond Tapsoba. It's with Scholes. Now with Pele. Zule. Pele. Really vital interception here. Pushkash. And the keeper with the ball. Zule. The first half here comes to an end. So they get the ball rolling in the second half. Even Steven here. So little to choose between the sides. And the pass was just that little bit off. Nearly found its target. Mascherano. And on to Beckham. Well, they know they need to stop him. And a goal here! Well, it took a definite nick, and nothing the keeper could do about it whatsoever. Well, here's the deflection, as you can see, but you can't blame the goalkeeper. He was just wrong-footed there. So the ball rolling again, with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Dembele... Diaz, Maldini with the clearance. Oh, he's given the ball away unnecessarily. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw-in. Luis Diaz. Holland. Now with Beckham.
Gianluca Zambrotta. Pushkash. They could level it. This could level it. Oh, such an elegant finish. How about that on the volley? A brilliant strike, whatever way you look at it. Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area, and then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. Paul goals. Nathan Ake here. Just ten minutes remaining here. Moving the ball effectively. Can they forge ahead? Oh, they've done it! They forged ahead, and it might be the goal that gives them victory. Well, here it is again. What a good build-up this is. Quick, incisive passing, clever movement, and all done at pace, which led to a simple finish. That's a real joy to watch. A dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. And keeping it on the ground, slightly off target, however. Pele, it's with Scholes. This could finish it! And he clears the danger. And there it is, the final whistle, and the fans will be leaving the stadium with smiles on their faces. Yes, Derek, sometimes it takes a while to eventually get the better of the opposition, and that was the case here. They kept going, and they eventually got their reward. And a warm welcome on what is a fine day for football, I'm delighted to be able to report. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry, and sharing duties with me today, Stuart Robson. And with the game just moments away now, this really ought to be a superb watch. It's Real Madrid up against Portsmouth. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Can he find the right pass? Can they nudge in front? In it goes, an early goal. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, this deserves another look. Just see the bend he gets on the ball. That's a great bit of skill and an excellent goal. Just restarted, 1-0 here. Zule. Zule. Well, no danger now. Now Beckham. On to Pele. And they've done it to square the game once again. Exhilarating. Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly, and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. So, a level contest. 1-1. One, one. Patrick Vieira. So, plenty of forward momentum from Real Madrid here. A fine use of the ball. Perhaps an opportunity here for Real Madrid to take the lead. Corner. Maldini doing his job defensively. What a lovely strike! Lethal 
piece of finishing drilled home with true conviction tremendous goal well here's the replay and you can see why the manager is furious it's just really poor play offering up possession far too easily in a dangerous area and at this level if you keep doing that you're going to get punished it's just not good enough so back underway intriguing contest this given the 2-1 scoreline Niklas Zule Abadi Pele Zule Zule Well, chasing this game, but the corner might help them. Kenny Dalglish. Enzo Fernandez. And on to Zambrota. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? Well, how about that for a piece of tackling to break things up? Well, not cleared away completely. Well, not the best clearance. Just the clearance that was called for. So, the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. Would you come next to me, please, sir? Mr. Moon has left the building. So back underway here into the second half. Skulls, Beckham, Abadi Pele. Well, it's a good looking position. Is there a goal in the future? Holland. Mendy. Kenny Dalglish. Bellingham. Steven Gerrard. Ronaldo. And the ball with Gerrard. And he's in. Well, he's straight offside, just as it looked promising. Pele. 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 Well, the danger is still there. Back up. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box, just begging someone to get on the end of it. And then Haaland demonstrates his ability in the air. He judges the flight, meets it solidly, and Goal beats the keeper. Portsmouth. That's how to Number head a ball. Nine, just 15 minutes remaining. Can they forge ahead? game late drama and now they're in front well here it is again and wow just take a look at this he's absolutely nailed this one what a strike that is from distance what a big moment in the dying embers will it prove decisive here intercepting it intelligently Ake. And that is going to be that. Well, a tale of woe in terms of the scoreline as far as the visitors are concerned here. Yes, Derek, it was a tight game between two very good sides, but they lost concentration late on, and it's cost them dearly. They'll need to get over that quickly.
Hello, it's great to be with you. And no problems at all on the weather front as we get ready for this match. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and delighted to be joined as always by Stuart Robson. And the general feeling is we should be in for a spellbinding occasion. It's Portsmouth versus Barcelona. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Ake. It's neat passing. Confidence on the ball. And they know they need to stop him. And he has options available. Can you call that as the green convertible car? The green Pele. Convertible car, car. Pele, hold on. Aldini getting it away. Pele. And Bellingham. Balak. Niklas Zule. Pele. Edmond Tapsoba. Now with Beckham. Ake. And Pele on the ball. Holland. On to Pele. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Jude Bellingham. And he's broken free. And mistimed the run, sadly. That's offside. Maldini, Andrew Robertson, here's Robertson, Pelé, well no stopping him, and Bellingham, good patient build up as they try to fashion something, and there it is, the half-time whistle. So they get the ball rolling in the second half. Even Steven here. So little to choose between the sides. Balak. Sound piece of goalkeeping. Skulls. David Beckham. Mali prevented it from going over the line. And he saw the situation developing. That'll be a Portsmouth ball. Holland. Abadi Pele. Aldini getting it away. Price. Zidane on the ball. Well, the pass not finding its target. Plenty of support here. Pele. And on to Abadi Pele. No high quality defending. Paul scores. Abadi Pele. Goodness gracious me! You can't strike them much better than that! Well, look at the replay here, because they don't come much better than this. He hits it so sweetly. What a goal this is. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Just ten minutes remaining here. This could level it. Oh, a goal! That levels it in the closing phase of this game. Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. And they will make the change now. So, a level contest. 1-1. Five minutes of the 90 still to go, and the teams cannot be separated. 
Pele. Can they grab the lead late on? And he clears the danger. So the final whistle and the end of an evenly fought contest, but focusing on the hosts, what about their performance? Well, Derek, it will feel like a defeat in that dressing room. They had the game won and were in control, but they just couldn't see it out. That's a real blow to them. Hello, it's great to be with you, and I don't think anybody is going to complain, especially about the weather. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson. And we can't wait for this one to start with justifiable cause. It's Portsmouth, and they face Köln. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Del Piero. Just the clearance that was needed. And the danger cleared. And Beckham averting the danger. Holland must take the lead here. And a goal! That will do it. They've been pushing for it. And now they've been rewarded. Well, just look at how poor the defending is here. But I have to say, it's still a very tidy finish. He looked really assured there. Back underway, 1-0 it is. Valverde, Cucurea. Zardes. Del Piero. David Beckham. And the pass not quite accurate enough. And a throw in then. Alessandro Del Piero. Raul. And that's great work to make sure it didn't go over the line. Pele. time team talks we're at the end of 45 minutes in this game well they've got things going again here and i wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us can they create something from here and the clearance from beckham Paolo Maldini. Well, given away by Kern. Valverde. Alessandro Del Piero. Really good challenge. And Portsmouth come away with it. 
Well, not the end result he had in mind. Well, we know he can hit them from that sort of range, but that was a poor effort in the end. Yangel Herrera. Del Piero. Well, couldn't find a teammate, unfortunately. And a throw in to come. Mascherano. Paolo Maldini. Valverde. Raul on the ball. Really good interception. Valverde. And support available. Del Piero. Surely the equaliser. And a goal to level this contest. All even. Well, this is a brilliant strike, as you can see. He hits it with so much power. The keeper had no chance. Fantastic finish. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Ten minutes left for play. Well, the fans are making so much noise here. They believe the winner's coming. But it needs a moment of inspiration for... Still alive. And the danger is averted. Well, they're certainly thinking about a winner. And there it is, the full-time whistle. Well, they can't be separated. And goals very much part of the equation. Stuart, as always, interested to get your final analysis. Well, Derek, it was a really good game between two evenly matched teams. Both had their moments, but neither side really deserved to lose this one. Hello, it's great to be with you, and no problems at all on the weather front as we get ready for this match. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner Stuart Robson. And everyone here on Tenterhooks, you'd have to say with good reason. It's Portsmouth, and they take on Athletic Bilbao. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Perfect tackle. David Beckham. Pele. Opportunity to take the lead. And there it is. The opening goal. The ideal way to start. Well, just look at the defending here. They just don't read the danger. It's a poor goal to concede. One nil then. Number twelve. Zambrotta. Ronaldo. Aware of the threat, solving the problem. Not a classic example of how to intercept. Cleared away comprehensively. Pull it. And it's in! All square again. What a match this is turning out to be. Well, here it is again. And what a perfect cross into the box this is. Just inviting someone to attack it, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. goal so in business once more on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1. Haaland... David Beckham, Paul goals. Well, he was a long way from goal, but that didn't seem to bother him. Well, he won't strike a football much better than that. That certainly had the keeper worried. Oh, oh, oh. 
side off. Well, nothing wrong with the header, but it was always going that little bit off target. He's in behind. That's a good ball. Oh, what an opportunity. And the whistle is sounded for half time in this game. And as the second half commences, both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched. Ake. And on to Abadi Pele. Good run, very much in control of the situation. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. So a corner kick it'll be following the deflection. Smuggled away. Side off. Now with Zambrosa. Gianluca Zambrotta. Well, it could be on for him here. Just wanted to get it out of there. Oh, my goodness! What a strike from so far out. Absolutely sensational. Unstoppable. Well, just take another look at this. He reads the flight perfectly, catches it so sweetly, and then bang. Not sure if the keeper was caught off guard. It's a long way out. But what a great strike. Number 79. Pele. Pele. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Just the challenge that was required. Ronaldo. Must be. And the struggle to get it away properly. He succeeds in clearing it. Kessier. And they need to get tighter. This could level it. A goal! Sheer excitement. Level again here. Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection, and he has so much pace on it. It's a great goal. And it's going so back underway, man. the game having been squared at 2-2. I couldn't find a teammate, unfortunately. And a throw in to come. Paul Scholes. Well, keeping it on the ground. Slightly off target, however. Clarence Seydorf. And intercepts again. And the final whistle at the end of the game, the two sides cannot be separated. But what will the home fans be feeling about what they put into the game? Yes, Derek, they certainly weren't at their best today, but sometimes you just have to keep fighting, keep believing, and that's what they did. It's a well-earned draw in the end. And a warm welcome on what is a fine day for football. I'm delighted to be able to report. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and sharing duties with me today, Stuart Robson. And with the game just moments away now, this really ought to be a superb watch. It's Portsmouth up against Newcastle United. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Moving the ball effectively. This is looking threatening. Could take the lead. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Phil Jones, that's Phil Jones. Please contact your nearest steward. Thank you. 
It's a fine piece of attacking play from... Can they forge ahead? And a goal! He's put it away! A celebratory moment! Well, you have to admire this bit of play. Just look how he runs with the ball. He always looked in control, didn't he? That's a brilliant goal. And they're making a change. Pele. It's with Scholes. Nathan Ake here. And on to Pele. Now with Pele. Pele. On to Scholes. Holland. Is it going to be? And they've done it to square the game once again. Exhilarating. Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. So, a level contest. 1-1. Endo, Walker, Walker, well doesn't have to do it on his own, and under pressure that was a fine claim, and no nonsense defensive clearance. That is that for the first half here. Now, please remind you that racism will not be tolerated in any form. An offender will be removed from the stadium. And so the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, whatever you can do, I can do just as well. And the Magpies moving the ball forward with purpose. Opportunity to go ahead. Endo, showing real patience, can they forge ahead? It has a goal, he's come on and help his team immediately. Well here you can see it again, good run, great strength and a composed finish under pressure, that's a top class goal. So there we have it, 2-1. Well, we're into the final half hour. Ake. Paolo Maldini. Abadi Pele. Scholes. Sloppy in possession from Portsmouth. Wataru Endo couldn't find a teammate throw in here Beckham David Beckham Pele it's with Scholes the attack continues they're making considerable progress Holland this could level it just wanted to get it out of there Pele. Now, who can he play it to? Pele! And a goal to level it up late on here. Just look at the reaction. Well, it's a goal you'd expect him to score, but he kept his cool and he put it away nicely. He'll be happy with that. So back underway, the game having been squared at 2 2. Well, keeping it on the ground, slightly off target, however. Wataru Endo. And a goal! This is why we adore this game. Late drama. 
And now they're in front. Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection, and he has so much pace on it. It's a great goal. And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today. Defeat for them. Well, Derek, it was a poor result, but it was a really tight contest. Both sides had their chances, could have gone either way, but in the end, they will be disappointed. Hello, it's great to be with you, and no problems at all on the weather front as we get ready for this match. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you match commentary, and alongside me is Stuart Robson. And everyone here on Tenterhooks, you'd have to say with good reason, it is Bayern Munich up against Portsmouth. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Ake. And on to Pele. Nathan Ake here. Now Beckham. Can he put them in front? And a goal! 1 0. And what a fast start they've made to this game. Well, look at this again, because this is a really well-worked goal. The passing is incisive, the movement off the ball is bright, and it leads to a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a great goal. Well, Bayern restart the game, and that should certainly shake them up a bit. Zinedine Zidane. And he read it well defensively. Holland on to Zule now with Abadi Pele okay. Okay, okay and now Pele well nicely cut out now what can they do with the ball Holland. It's with Scholes. Holland. Is it going to be? And a goal to level it up for Bayern. Well, you have to admire this bit of play. Just look how he runs with the ball. He always looked in control, didn't he? That's a brilliant goal. So back underway, they've levelled it at 1 1 here. Pele. Zule. Niklas Zule. Abadi Pele. And a goal it is to put them in front again. No less than they deserve. Well, let's take another look. And wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is. Well, 2-1 it is here. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. So back underway here into the second half. Goals. 
But he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Plenty of support here. Oh, my goodness! What an outrageous hit! I can't believe he took it on from there, and neither can the goalkeeper. Well, we won't get tired of seeing this, will we? Because that struck so sweetly. He really does surprise everybody here, not least the keeper. What a good finish that is. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? Zambrotta. And into the last 30 minutes now. Skulls. And Gerard couldn't quite finish well if they can just get one it will certainly make it interesting Ake and on to Beckham now with Abadie Pele Steven Gerrard Holland, and the ball with Gerrard Showing patience as they look for a way back into this. And he did so well to move across and deal with the danger. Pele. Now with Maldini. Erling Haaland. Well, keeping it on the ground. Slightly off target, however. Just 10 minutes remaining here. Holland. Javier Zanetti. Holland. And a goal! They've cut into the lead! It's not settled yet! Well, here it is. Head down, hit through the ball, and get it on target. That's a top class finish. There was no stopping that. You can't really say defences are on top. 3 2. Okay. And that is that. The referee blows his whistle for full time, and it's a victory for the visitors. Well, Derek, they didn't dominate the game by any means today, but overall they had the better of the chances and just about deserved their win. Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. And the general feeling is we should be in for a spellbinding occasion. It's Blackburn Rovers, and they take on Portsmouth. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Nice looking pass. Sound piece of goalkeeping. Pele. Abadi Pele. Holland. Can he put them in front? In it goes. The goal for 1 0, and that changes the dynamic. Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. And the ball is moving Number once 12. more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Jota. Smuggled away. Abadi Pele. Now with Pele. 
What can they do from here? Ake. Well, the header at least made the goalkeeper think. Tapsoba. And Jorge Campos has it now. Paul scores. Well, Portsmouth unable to retain the ball. Jota. Well, here it is again. He's alive to the situation. He makes good contact with the ball and he keeps it down. That's a nice headed goal. And there it is, the half time whistle. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Niklas Zule, Pele. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? And the throw-in goes to Portsmouth. Holland. Corner conceded, it came off the defender. And a goal to re-establish their advantage! Just look at the celebrations! Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box, just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. goal so the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the scoreline. David Beckham. On to Zule. And on to Beckham. Now with Zule, Holland. Rudiger. Nico Schlotterbeck. Mo Salah. Balak. And what can they do to stop him running at them? No panic, just passing. This could level it. And not quite accurate enough, Stuart. Well, I think he should do better there. But at least they're now knocking at the door. Goals. There to win it back. Beckham. Just wanted to get it out of there. Well, just listen to this crowd. They want a bit more. They know there's still plenty of time to find an equaliser. Surely they get another chance. Maybe two. Balak. And there it is, the full-time whistle here, and it's a victory for the visitors. Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserved the result in the end. Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as always, is Stuart Robson. And without doubt, a match with the potential to bring genuine excitement. It's Brentford up against Portsmouth. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. 
if you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Oh, too close to the goalkeeper to really pose a threat. Pele. Pele. David Beckham. Making progress. Well, from so far out, it didn't appear to be the high percentage option. Close, though, Stuart. Well, he did have options, but that was a good effort in the end. He wasn't too far away, was he? Zinedine Zidane. Alan Shearer. Zidane. Abadi Pele. Skulls. Over the touchline for what will be a Brentford throw. Neymar. Shearer. Neymar. He's failed to hold it, Neymar. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Oh, great header. Smart stop, though. A chance now with the corner. Oh, a goal! He's going to be rightly proud of that moment. Sensational! Well, just look at this piece of skill. He times this absolutely perfectly. Great connection as well. We'll see this for years to come. Fantastic goal. So the match has restarted. 1 0 here. Abadi Pele. So here we are, moving close to half time, and the visitors with work to do, I think it's fair to say, Stuart. Well, I've been a little disappointed with their attacking play. It's all been a bit too slow. If they can pass it into their front areas with more quality, switch play quicker, and be more positive in 1v1 situations, I think they'll get back into this. So the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. Coming up half time, there'll be a display from the police dog display team. The same piece of the van. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. Holland it's with Skulls Ake on to Holland Skulls this could be the equaliser and a goal to square the game edge of the seat stuff Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power. But just look at the follow-through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. So in business once more on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1. Bellingham. Now with Cap de Vila. Good-looking move. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. Martin Erdegaard. Neymar. Shearer. Well, good run, this. Now, what can he do with it? And Neymar! He succeeds in clearing it. Struggling to get it away. And then... Well, when you see this again, the defending just isn't good enough. The clearance doesn't get enough height on it, doesn't get enough distance on it, and suddenly the ball's being played back into their danger area, and they don't reorganise themselves, and that's why the ball's in the back of their net. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the scoreline. Skulls. Ake. David Beckham. Skulls.
and clears the danger. Well, just listen to the noise in here. These fans are doing everything to get their team over the finish line, and there's not long left now. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Well, it's the late show, and they are level again. Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect, and it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. And there it is, the full-time whistle. Well, they can be separated, and goals very much part of the equation. Stuart, as always, interested to get your final analysis. Well, Derek, it was a really good game between two evenly matched teams. Both had their moments, but neither side really deserved to lose this one. Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray and sharing commentary with me as usual is Stuart Robson. And every reason to believe we're in for an entertaining match here. It's Brentford and they take on Portsmouth. Thanks Derek. Well often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing. But so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Garincha. And an astute piece of defending. And Brentford come away with it. Shearer. Zinedine Zidane. Martin Odegaard. Illegal play and hence a free kick. I must say, this looks promising. Neymar. And a goal! Now they've broken through. 1-0 here. Well, here's the replay. And as you can see, Neymar's cross was always going to be threatening. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. And back underway. 1-0 it is. Edmond Tapsoba, Dumfries, Garincha, and on to Beckham. Oh, that's a fine looking pass. So a corner kick it'll be following the deflection. Mopping up defensively. Zinedine Zidane. They've regained possession. Now, let's see what they can do here. This could level it. Oh, it's a penalty in the opinion of the referee. And maybe they'll be able to level this up. An opportunity. Pele! And slot it home. Well, his heart might have been fluttering, but he didn't show it. A goal from the spot. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just watch his technique here. He just hits through the back of the ball with such power. There's no stopping that. So back underway, following the equaliser. Skulls. And Captavila has it now. Abadi Pele. 
And with that, the first half draws to a close. Now, please remind you that racism will not be tolerated in any form, and offenders will be removed from the stadium. Well, they've got things going again here, here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Paul Scholes. Shearer. Garincha. The clearance wasn't decisive. Well, they can keep possession of it now. Holland. Beckham. Now Holland. Pele. Well, a poor effort when all was said and done, and simple for the keeper. Well, he's made a real mess of that, hasn't he? What a chance that was. Not a successful intervention, winning the ball back. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. David Beckham, Pelé. Keeping it on the ground, slightly off target, however. Jude Bellingham. Pele. David Beckham. Pele. Can he put them in front? And a goal! This is why we adore this game. Late drama, and now they're in front. Well, this is a brilliant strike, as you can see. He hits it with so much power, the keeper had no chance. Fantastic finish. Well, a dramatic moment Number near three. the end, and that might well be the decider. Alan Shearer. Well, with five minutes remaining and just one goal between them, this could square the game. How about this for drama? All even once more. Astonishing. Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. So underway again at 2 all. Pele. The move looks promising. A goal here surely would finish it. And cleared away. And so the final whistle has sounded, and this game will go into the history books recorded as a draw. What do you think the visitors will feel about what they put into the game? Well, Derek, it's a horrible feeling when you concede so late in the game. They thought they had the game won, but a lack of concentration has cost them dear here. Well, the weather forecasters promised us an agreeable day for football, and that's exactly what we've got. My name is Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson. And we're fully convinced this game will live up to its billing. It's Portsmouth, and they face Brentford. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And it might be. Corner given. Wonderful header. Excellent goalkeeping. Danger averted for now, but it'll be another corner. Just wanted to get it out of there. Just the challenge that was required. 
Zinedine Zidane. Alan Shearer. Neymar. And Portsmouth with the ball once more. Pele. Joan Capdevila. Jude Bellingham. Zidane on the ball. Garincha. Ake. Paul Scholes. Abadi Pele. It's with Scholes. Now this looks really productive. What can they do from this position? Good looking move. Jude Bellingham. Tapsoba. And it's with Dumfries. Here's Garincha. And there it is! The breakthrough! That will do nicely! Well, here's the replay, and what a well-delivered cross this is. Perfectly placed, and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. Are back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. That is that for the first half here. Coming up half time, there will be a display from the police dog display team. The same as he's for that. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Dumfries. Now, options are plenty. Unable to get himself back onside here. Well, he was always going to be offside. That was the wrong option. Holland. Bellingham. Martin Odegaard. Gavincha. Shearer. Shearer. And he scored not once but twice. They simply cannot stop him. And no wonder he's enjoying himself. Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection and he has so much pace on it. It's a great goal. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Zule. I must say this looks promising, but the danger averted for now. Neymar. It's real chance. Oh, and it goes! Now he has his hat-trick. A special moment for him. Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. This is looking rather comfortable for them. 3-0. Skulls. Couldn't find a teammate. Throw in here. Garincha. Zidane on the ball. Garincha. It's with Erdogan. Neymar. Just the clearance that was needed. Mike Menon. Five minutes left. Surely. Well, well, well. How many players would have the confidence to try that? Simply magnificent. Well, this is a brilliant finish. Great awareness, good technique, and a bit of composure as well. What an excellent goal that is. Here it is now, a substitution. Paolo Maldini. 
And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today. Defeat for them. Well, Derek, they were certainly off the pace today. Beaten to the board in too many key areas. They need to refocus now and perform better next time out. Well, the weather forecasters promised us an agreeable day for football, and that's exactly what we've got. I'm Derek Ray at the microphone, and joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson. And if this game lives up to its billing, we're in for a riveting occasion. It's Portsmouth taking on Liverpool. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Classic example of how to intercept. Jude Bellingham distributing it well. Could be! And there it is! The opening goal, the ideal way to start. Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. Liverpool the ball is moving Liverpool once more. Nine. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Pele. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? Not forcing the issue. Great composure. Well, it's a very attractive passing sequence. Plenty of support here. And this could square the game, and a goal to square the game, into the seat stuff. Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection, and he has so much pace on it. It's a great goal. And it goes so back the underway, man. they've leveled it at 1-1 here. And the pass not quite accurate enough. And a throw in then. Edmond Tapsoba. Can he finish? And it's in! They're back in front. Stunning scenes here. Well, as you can see, what a good bit of play this is. The build-up is excellent. One and two touch passing, clever movement and a fairly simple finish. Great team goal. Well, underway again, it's a narrow 2-1 lead as things stand. Skulls. Nathan Ake here. It's with Skulls. Holland. Well, it could be on for him here. They just couldn't stay in front. And now this match is all square. Well, just look at how poor the defending is here. But I have to say, it's still a very tidy finish. He looked really assured there. So underway again at 2 all. Zanetti. Cleared away comprehensively. Zanetti. Now with Riquelme. Zanetti. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. 
Can he put them in front? A goal! That's two for him today. They simply can't stop him. No wonder he's celebrating. Well, here's the replay, and it's a really inviting ball played into the box, begging players to attack it. But how has he allowed that much time and space? He doesn't even have to jump to head it in. It's a good finish, but terrible defending. Well, the action underway once more, and no shortage of entertainment. 3-2. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. And the second half underway. Liverpool looking to build upon a largely positive first half showing. Diogo Jota. Zardes. Paul Scholes. It's with Scholes. Pele. Beckham. Now we're into the final half hour. It's still alive. Pele. Pele. He continues his run. Holland. And on to Abadi Pele. Chance maybe. Well, it looks so promising, but a goal kicked the outcome. Endo. Jota. And Jorge Campos has it now. Well, I'm not sure they deserve anything from this game, but there's still time to find that equaliser. And you have to say the crowd have been brilliant. They're still driving the team on. Oh, that's a fine save. Well, this might be their final opportunity to draw level. So a personnel change then. Smuggled away. Or do they have it in them to level this? And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today. Defeat for them. Well, Derek, it was a poor result, but it was a really tight contest. Both sides had their chances, could have gone either way, but in the end, they will be disappointed. Hello and welcome, and I can tell you it was a dry walk to the gantry today, no rain in sight. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And we can't wait for this one to start with justifiable cause. It's Portsmouth, and they take on Stoke City. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Cleared away. False goals. Chance to do damage. Beckham must take the lead here. A oh, good hit. Close shave. Abadi Pele. Kobo. Beckham. Oh, goodness gracious me! It's a special, special goal from miles out.
Well, here it is again, and just look at this. It's such good technique. It's a wonderful strike from that range. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Garincha. And he did what he had to do defensively. Opportunity it is. Well, he was dreaming of scoring, but ruled offside. Well, it all happened very quickly, so I wouldn't criticise him too much. At least he was in there. Well, a textbook interception. Can they create something from here? Pele. Now with Beckham. And that's all roll through to the keeper. The attack just fizzling out in the end. So getting close to the half-time interval. And it's going with home advantage, albeit not by a lot. Stuart, what have you made of what you've seen so far? Well, it's been a tight game so far. But they've just had that little bit more quality on the ball. Particularly in midfield, where they've just started to take control. They'll be fairly happy going at half time if it stays like this. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Good looking ball. Might be a chance here. And a goal to level this contest. All even. Well, here it is again. He's alive to the situation. He makes good contact with the ball and he keeps it down. That's a nice-headed goal. So, a level contest. 1-1. David Beckham. Now with Maldini. Beckham. Di Marco. Diaz and in oh yes exactly what they were hoping to produce they've delivered the goal well as you can see he doesn't mess about here does he he's strong well balanced and skillful that's a top class finish well underway again it's a narrow 2-1 lead as things stand Paul goals And a lot to like about this attack. Corner conceded. It came off the defender. Well, you're not going to bamboozle the goalkeeper with a corner like that. Beckham. Ake. Fantastic technique! Well, here's the replay, and it's a really inviting ball played into the box, begging players to attack it, but there's still plenty for him to do. Under all sorts of pressure from the defender, he's just able to keep him at bay and finishes with a plumb. It's a great goal. Rodri. Ten minutes to go. Well, they still have designs on the win. Must be. Keeper getting the touch. And in at the second time of asking. Just what was required. Well, when you see this again, I think the goalkeeper's very unlucky. He makes a good initial save, but the ball comes off of him, rebounds straight to an attacker, and the finish is excellent. Well, the action underway once more. And no shortage of entertainment. 3-2. And there goes the final whistle.
and the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome. Well, Derek, what a good finish to the game that was. They just wore down the opposition, and in the end, they got their reward. That's a really good win for them. Hello and welcome, and I can tell you it was a dry walk to the gantry today, no rain in sight. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray, and ready to provide expert analysis alongside me is Stuart Robson. And if this game lives up to its billing, we're in for a riveting occasion. It's Portsmouth versus Arsenal. Well, thanks Derek as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Walker, Son, and it's with Ronaldinho, Walker now, Kulic has it, Kulic, and a goal, 1-0, and what a fast start they've made to this game. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal, just watch his technique here. He just hits through the back of the ball with such power. There's no stopping that. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Skulls. On to Holland. Now with Zule. Can they find a gap in the defence? A goal! Real excitement. A back-and-forth type of game. Now they're level. Well, this is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. Toure. Opportunity it is. And the header just wide of the mark. Niklas Zule. It's with Scholes. Succeeded in keeping it in play. And a throw in for Arsenal. Laurent Blanc. Rudiger. Ruud Hulet. Good run, very much in control of the situation. And the ball is loose. And the danger cleared. Zulu. Nathan Ake here. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Underway then in the second half. And the two teams matching each other just about stride for stride. Now options are plenty. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. Maldini. It's with Scholes. He's given it away. Portsmouth throw in here. Maldini. Ronaldinho. Well, keeping it on the ground. Slightly off target, however. Mascherano. On to Zulu. 
might really be able to trouble them here. Out of play, and an Arsenal throw in forthcoming. Abadie Pele. Zula. And on to Abadie Pele. Holland. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Toure. Yaya Toure. Rudiger. On to Holland. Ronaldinho. Composed and patient passing. Well, time is running out to get this winner, but the fans certainly believe it's coming. Just listen to the noise. What a fantastic finish we could have here. Throw into Arsenal coming up. Son. Now with Maldini. Wonderful chance. Oh, a goal! And is that going to be the one that wins it for them? There's every chance, and the fans are lapping this up. Well, as you can see, that's a great bit of skill. He times this so sweetly. What a good goal that is. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Manuel Neuer. Blanc. Rudiger has it. And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today. Defeat for them. Well, Derek, it was a poor result. It was a really tight contest. Both sides had their chances. Could have gone either way. But in the end, they will be disappointed. Hello, it's great to be with you, and I don't think anybody is going to complain especially about the weather. I'm Derek Ray, and sharing commentary with me, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And every reason to believe we're in for an entertaining match here. It's Portsmouth up against Juventus. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward, and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. Really important piece of last-ditch defending. Pele. Juventus recovering possession well. Niklas Zule. Abadi Pele. Oh, big chance! And a goal! 1-0 it is! They've been pushing for the opener, and now they have it! Well, I won't get tired of watching this. It's an outstanding bit of play. Just look how far he runs with the ball. That's a great goal. So the match is restarted. 1-0 here. And mopping up defensively. Zanetti. Benzema, and he read it superbly, can they create, well it could be on for him here, and a goal, the equaliser, superb entertainment. Well here you can see it again, good run, great strength and a composed finish under pressure, that's a top class goal. So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser, 1-1. Enzo Fernandez. Oh. 
Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. Chouameni. Rudiger. Juventus, the... Can they forge ahead? And a goal! In the lead again! Fully deserved! Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. Well, 2-1 it is here. Ake. Paul scores. Beckham. Not getting anxious when they have the ball. And teammates around him. Zulu. Well, no danger now. That is that for the first half here. So back underway here into the second half. Zinedine Zidane. Martinez. Smuggled away. Rudiger. It's with Courtois. Zinedine Zidane Benzema Very alert defending to cut off the supply Paolo Maldini Rudiger Zinedine Zidane Varela has it Fernandez. High quality defending Karim Benzema, Zinedine Zidane, Grimaldo, making sure nothing came of it, sound piece of goalkeeping. Well, just listen to this crowd, they want a bit more, they know there's still plenty of time to find an equaliser, surely they get another chance, maybe two. And Jorge Campos has it now, Paul scores. And it comes down to the final five minutes. Well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw-in. Grimaldo. And the referee blows for a foul. Zinedine Zidane and there goes the final whistle it's gone the wrong way as far as the home fans are concerned well Derek certainly not their best performance was it just a little bit off the pace for me and obviously a disappointing result but the key thing is they bounce back now and they can't afford a repeat performance Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. I'm Derek Ray, ready here on the commentary position. And alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and commentary midfielder, Stuart Robson. And the general feeling is we should be in for a spellbinding occasion. Stuart, tell us about your pre-match thoughts. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Not smooth in possession. David Beckham. 
Ake has it. It's with Scholes. Goalkeeper has it. Paolo Maldini. Enzo Fernandez. Andre Kelme. Holland. And he might be through here. And a goal! Now they have their opener. And now they can celebrate. Well, you have to ask, where's the defending? The keeper is completely exposed. But he still had to finish it, and he did it really well. It's a good goal. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? And out of play, the pass nearly worked out, but not quite. Lozano. Now Holland. And the pass was just that little bit off. Nearly found its target. Beckham. Pele. Pele. Both hands on it. Good goalkeeping. Erling Haaland. Well, it's a good-looking position. Is there a goal in the future? But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Well, couldn't find a teammate, unfortunately. And a throw-in to come. Lozano. Andre Kelme. It's with Irving Lozano. Paolo Maldini. Well, the managers will now deliver their half time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. The attack looks promising. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. Rudiger. Fernandez. Riquelme. And Riquelme. Bellingham. Holland. Great opportunity. And a goal. Calls for celebrations again. Two in front. Well, let's take another look. And wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is. Two nil here, and the ball is moving again. Ake. Now with Beckham. Pele. And on to Abadi Pele. Well, they're moving the ball neatly enough. Just looking for that decisive pass. Could pull one back here. And cleared away. Enzo Fernandez. Skulls. Now with Zule. Good tackle. It'll be a throw. Holland. Pele. Now with Beckham. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Lozano. Paul goals. And so into the final five minutes. And a goal to settle the issue once and for all. Well, as you can see, he gets there first, he makes good contact with the ball and finds the back of the net. That's a decent header. For the is this going Number to be a three. thrashing? 3-0 three three now. Three. And that is the end of the contest and not a happy outcome as far as the visitors are concerned. Well, oh dear, Derek, that was a worrying display. They were completely outplayed in almost every department. The coach has got a lot of work to do before the next game.
Hello, it's great to be with you, and I don't think anybody is going to complain, especially about the weather. My name is Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And we can't wait for this one to start with justifiable cause. It's Portsmouth, and they take on Atlanta United. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. David Beckham, Pele. Well, slightly off target, and that'll be a throw-in. Laurent Blanc. Can the owner of the green convertible car, the Vinicius green Junior, Palma Maldini, Zula, it's with Scholes, now with Pele, Laurent Blanc, it's with Vinicius Junior, a real opening now, and there it is, the opening goal, 1-0, and they'll finish. Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? David Beckham. I must say, this looks promising. And not quite accurate enough, Stuart. Well, I think he should do better there, but at least they're now knocking at the door. Williams. Now with Maldini. And clears the danger. Zula. Skulls. On to Holland, and saved by the keeper. No trouble at all as far as the keeper was concerned. So the whistle then, we're up the halfway stage in this match. Now, please remind you that racism will not be tolerated in any form, and offenders will be removed from the stadium. So the two teams have switched around, and the second half is underway. Edmond Tapsoba. Ake. Now with Abadi Pele. It's with Skulls. Now with Zulu. Paul Scholes. And scope for them to produce something exciting. He succeeds in clearing it. Thirty minutes left for play. And an astute piece of defending. Paolo Maldini, Ake, Pele, Paul Scholes, Pele, now with Pele, working away patiently, looking for an opening, but then the commentator's curse comes into play, Bellingham, Rabiot, well just listen to this crowd, they want a bit more. They know there's still plenty of time to find an equaliser. Surely they get another chance. Maybe two. Pele. Oh, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. Late in the game here, and they know what they've got to do. And there goes the final whistle, much to the disappointment of their supporters. Well, Derek, it was a poor result, but it was a really tight contest. Both sides had their chances, could have gone either way, but in the end, they will be disappointed.
And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And the general feeling is we should be in for a spellbinding occasion. Stuart, how do you see this one going? Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Must take the lead here. There it is, the opening goal of this match, and what a start they've made. Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. Are back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Erling Haaland. It did look on for them, but not to be. Is it going to be? Oh, fine stop. And Beckham averting the danger. Edmond Tapsoba. Pelé. Nakata. On to Nakata. Oh, surely. Decent position. Spot on with that tackle. Abadi Pele. Pele. Paul goals. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Now look at this. They might be able to cash in here. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Tapsoba. The first half here comes to an end. Coming up half time, don't forget, we'll be having the Lucky Raffle and also don't forget the Lucky Program draw. So back underway here into the second half. And unable to pick out a teammate. And that'll be a throw. Bakari Yatta. Just wide, there really wasn't much in that at all. Pele. Now with Pele. Paul Scholes. In the right place to cut out the pass. Paul Scholes. This could level it. And it's in. All square again. What a match this is turning out to be. Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection. And he has so much pace on it. It's a great goal. Back underway, Number level five. pegging, one goal apiece in this game. Hidetoshi Nakata. David Beckham. Beckham. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Wonderful chance. Just 15 minutes remaining. Pelé. On the attack. Can they forge ahead? Oh, they've done it! They forged ahead, and it might be the goal that gives them victory. 
Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly, and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. Just going to be a double substitution. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Well, it hasn't been a great performance, but the fans have been brilliant. Just listen to the noise. Can the players respond and find this equaliser? Well, slightly off target, and that'll be a throw-in. Pelé. Nathan Ake here. And so the final whistle here. The visitors come out on top, Stuart. Yes, no, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. A really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserved the result in the end. Hello, it's great to be with you, and no problems at all on the weather front as we get ready for this match. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary box, providing expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere really building up nicely, we should be in for a terrific contest. It's Portsmouth, and they face Bordeaux. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Ake. Abadi Pele. Pele. A truly magnificent start. An early goal in the game. Just what they were hoping to produce. Well, here's the replay, and what a well-delivered cross this is. Perfectly placed, and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. So, underway again here. 1-0 the score. Okay. And this is Diogo Jota now. Well, the pass not finding its target. The referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. Well, they have the ball once more. And the keeper with the ball. Pele. Well, he took care of it defensively. Chiesa. Will they get themselves level here? Not too fussy in clearing his lines. And it's Harry Kane on the run. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. And the referee felt he had to blow the whistle. Not the best clearance. The clearance wasn't decisive. Well, it's all going so swimmingly for them here. Another goal. And now it's a matter of avoiding any silly mistakes. Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. Two-nil here, and the ball is moving again. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. goals Pele a real opening now a goal another one 
It's turning into an absolute demolition job. Well, let's take another look. And wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is. Three goals without reply. Diogo Jota. He succeeds in clearing it. In with a chance. Well, just went a bit too early. Offside. Holland. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Kane and teammates around him. Still a chance. Well, nothing comes of it. Guimaraes. Maldini getting it away. Pele! In it goes! Such a complete performance! Four in front now! Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. A lopsided contest. 4-0. Holland. The ball with Chiesa. Couldn't quite hang on. Corner kick forthcoming. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Maldini with the clearance. Ake. Pele. Cleared away by Iero. And there it is, the final whistle. The home fans are going to be happy with this result. You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent, full of energy and pace, and the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance. And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and delighted to be joined, as always, by Stuart Robson. And every reason to believe we're in for an entertaining match here. It's Leicester City up against Portsmouth. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. And back with Campos. Paul goals. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. Good work from Leicester to win it back. Hugo Sanchez. Genuine chance. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. Pele. And he read it well. Pele. 
But AC had enough about him to deal with the threat. Back now to the goalkeeper. Maldini. Scholes. David Beckham. Holland. And on to Pele. Well, he's certainly not alone. Now Beckham must take the lead here. And a goal! Now they have their opener. And now they can celebrate. Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. So the action underway again. And certainly the onus is on Leicester to come up with a reply here. Skulls. Nice looking pass. Clears it away. Oh, this looks useful. Oh, it's a penalty in the opinion of the referee. And maybe they'll be able to level this up. And this for 1-1. One, one. Can he do it? And with that, the first half draws to a close. With the prospects being clean through, Mr. Moon has left the building. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. David Beckham, and he's broken free. And a goal to really bolster things for them. Two in front. Well, he wasn't going to waste this chance. 1v1 against the keeper, and he slots it away with great confidence. That's a good finish. Two nil here, and the ball is moving again. Guimaraes. Skulls. Well, good run, this. Now, what can he do with it? No nonsense clearance. But Tragueño. Decent looking pass. But Tragueño. Niklas Zule. Abadi Pele. 20 minutes to go. Beckham. And cleared away. Emilia Butragueño. And back with Butragueño. Salah. And there it is! Still life left in this game. And they have the momentum now. Well, here we can see again just how well Salah did to get the cross into such a good area. And it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Zula. Teammates available. Well, as we approach full-time, we have to say, playing away from home hasn't been a problem for them. Can they see it out? Stuart, your thoughts? Well, it's been a decent performance from them. They've certainly played the more expensive. And that is that. The referee blows his whistle for full-time, and it's a victory for the visitors. Well, Derek, it was a really tight game, but they were the better side over the 90 minutes, and they fully deserved their victory today.
Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. I'm Derek Ray, in position to bring you live match commentary, and my expert analyst, as always on these occasions, is Stuart Robson. And if this game lives up to its billing, we're in for a riveting occasion. It's Delphine up against Portsmouth. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the great... Oh, what an opportunity! And a goal! They start as they mean to continue. They make the opening statement. Well, as you can see, he's given far too much space, but he still had some work to do, and I think that's a very tidy finish. It was never in doubt. One nil then. Number five, two, Pele. Now with Zulu. Abadi Pele. Good use of the ball as they look to extend their lead. This could level it. Oh, incredible save. And he snuffed out the danger. Well, he took care of it defensively. Corner's clearance this time. Abadi Pele, Beckham, Ake, into the advanced position, Ake, oh to level the match, a goal, real excitement, a back and forth type of game, now they're level. Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly, and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. So, a level contest. 1-1. One, one. Grimaldo. Alonso. Xavi Alonso. Grimaldo. And he clears the danger. Class defending. Well, using the space really well, but now can they push on? Oh, could be an opportunity here. And the danger is averted. And the whistle is sounded for half time in this game. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Holland, And here's Scholes. Must take the lead here. Big chance it is. Oh, yes! A goal! Exactly what they were looking for, and he's come up with it. Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. Well, as they kick off again, 2-1, the current state of affairs. Well, couldn't find a teammate, unfortunately. And a throw-in to come. So two substitutes to come on in one go. Zula. Now with Abadi Pele. And on to Beckham. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. And Portsmouth with the ball once more. Jude Bellingham. And on to Kola. Zanetti. Endo, plenty of support here. And both hands on it, good goalkeeping. Pele, Mateus, Gullit. 
Ten minutes left for play. Well, do they have it in them to level this? This could be the equaliser. Well, the keeper has outdone himself. Wonderful save. And Paula read it brilliantly. And the flag has gone up. Well, he has to work a lot harder to stay on side there. He didn't read the situation at all. Well, I'm not sure they deserve anything from this game, but there's still time to find that equaliser. And you have to say the crowd have been brilliant. They're still... And so the final whistle here. The visitors come out on top, Stuart. Well, Derek, it was very competitive. Chances at both ends, but I feel they were the better team, and they deserve their victory. And a warm welcome on what is a fine day for football. I'm delighted to be able to report. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player, Stuart Robson. And with kickoff just moments away, we really should be in for a magnificent occasion. It's Portsmouth, and they take on Athletic Bilbao. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully we get a really good game here. Pele. Holland. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Rooney. Will he finish? There it is, and he could scarcely have had an easier finish. Well, here it is again. It's an easy finish in the end, but what was the keeper thinking? That's a poor bit of defending. Now the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Zilu. It. Kessier and in with a real chance and a goal to increase their advantage to two overall that little bit of a cushion now it's all about keeping the concentration well first of all where's the defending they're all over the place but give him some credit that's a good finish great composure So underway once more, 2-0 the lead here. Pele. Well, when all was said and done, Stuart, he wasn't a million miles away. No, he wasn't, because he generates so much power from that sort of distance. His technique is brilliant. Rudiger. Kessier. On the ball, Seidorf. And on to Rooney. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Paul goals. And on to Abadi Pele. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Oh, big chance! Big chance it is! A goal! 
to the good now. Well, you have to admire this bit of play. Just look how he runs with the ball. He always looked in control, didn't he? That's a brilliant goal. Blistering first half display, and just look at that score. Well, the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end. So the two teams have switched around, and the second half is underway. Might really be able to trouble them here. Kulitz. Oh, marvellous defending to deny him. And the attack fades out. Pele. And on to Pele. And still dangerous. Well, they can bring it out now. Zambrotta. Kessie. Hulit. Skulls. Holland. Paul Skulls. Abadi Pele. It is a decent looking attack here. Pele. Now Beckham. Well, nearly there, this game almost over. And looking at the fans, Stuart, they appear to me to be more than a bit gutted. Well, they just never got going. People will point fingers towards the centre-backs and keeper, and to be fair, they've been poor, no doubt about that. But they haven't had much protection. There's been so much space for their opponents to operate. And that is the end of the game. It goes into the history books as a home defeat. You're absolutely right, Derek. While the result is poor, the display was even worse. They never got to grips with the opposition. They were second best in every facet of the game. They need to do a lot of improving before the next time out. Hello and welcome, and I can tell you it was a dry walk to the gantry today, no rain in sight. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry, and delighted to be joined as always by Stuart Robson. And we're fully convinced this game will live up to its billing. It is Chelsea up against Portsmouth. Thanks Derek, as always, this should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium, we've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Very timely interception. Holland. Can he put them in front? And a goal! They start as they mean to continue. They make the opening statement. Well, this is worth watching again. Holland beats the challenge with such ease, and then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. So Chelsea get things going again. How will they reply to that setback? Now a decent position. Zanetti. On to Pele. Still not clear threat over for now it seems Zardes real chance well it's gone in a goal for Chelsea who now are level
Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. So back underway. They've levelled it at 1-1 here. Laurent Blanc, Bastien Schweinsteiger. And it's with Socrates. And wasteful from Chelsea. Abadi Pele. And continues his run. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw in. Zula. Abadi Pele. And possession lost by Portsmouth. Pelé. It might be the moment to get them ahead. And a goal to delight the fans. Just what they were hoping for. Well, here it is again, and it's really poor defending. They just don't show enough urgency to get tight or make a block which is why the ball's ended up in the back of their net. So there we have it, 2-1. So the whistle then, we're at the halfway stage in this match. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Ake. Schweinsteiger clears the danger. Mascherano. David Beckham. And on to Pele. Real chance. And he did what he had to do defensively. And so, 30 minutes left for play in this one. He has teammates around him. Must be! And Chelsea have done it! It's going to be so difficult to stop them now. Well, here it is again. And what a good build-up this is. Quick, incisive passing, clever movement, and all done at pace, which led to a simple finish. That's a real joy to watch. So on with the action, and 3-1 the scoreline at the moment. Pele, Abadi Pele, Zula, Abadi Pele. Got a touch off the defender last of all, so a corner. And another corner, can they take advantage of this one? Danger is still there. Now Beckham. Very effective pass. Ake. Back to Holland. Can he put it away? And the danger cleared. Given away by Chelsea. Well, we'll soon be hearing the final whistle. And this is a performance to forget about from the point of view of the... Could reduce the deficit. And in it goes! They're getting closer. They're not finished yet. Well, this is a brilliant strike, as you can see. He hits it with so much power, the keeper had no chance. Fantastic finish. You can't really say defences are on top. 3-2. And that will be all for this game. Defeat for the visitors, that's the big story. Well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but they never felt they were in control of the game. Frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time.
Hello and welcome, and I can tell you it was a dry walk to the gantry today. No rain in sight. I'm Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board alongside me is Stuart Robson, my commentary partner. And no question, this ought to be a game that gets pulses racing. It's Portsmouth facing Barcelona. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Abadi Pele. Well, it's a good deflection. That'll be a corner. Danger averted. Zulu. It's with Scholes. And a goal! 1 0. And what a fast start they've made to this game. Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. And Barca get the ball moving once more. How will they react? Just the clearance that was called for. Laurent Blanc. So after that, a goal kick it'll be. Garincha. Diogo Jota. Barcelona now in potentially a dangerous position. David Beckham. Well read to put an end to that attack. Diogo Jota. Well, using the space really well, you've got to say. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Cleared away. Well, let's see if Barca can use this set piece wisely. And away by Pele. Diogo Jota. Zinedine Zidane. Diogo Jota. And it's come off the keeper. So the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. Would you come back to the Mr. Moon has left the building. So underway again, Barcelona trailing going into the second half. Can they come up with the right response? Throw in here for Barcelona. Diogo Jota. Oh, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. Ake. Pele. Pele. chance oh the flag's gone up and there wasn't much in that Tapsoba on to Zulu and Pele on the ball. Beckham. Well, taking on that shot and not missing by much. Well, that would have been an excellent goal, but it means everything is still up for grabs here. Guimaraes. Garincha. And he might be through here. The net is staring him in the face. Cleared away comprehensively. Paul Scholes. Abadi Pele. Good use of the ball as they look to extend their lead. Pele. A wonderful intervention. Pele! And a goal! They've added to their lead. Much needed security.
Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. So, back on the way, with the scoreline standing at 2-0. Jota. Zidane on the ball. Bronk. Now Zidane. Excellent defending. And that'll be a Barca throw. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Maldini doing his job defensively. Can he get one back? They've got themselves back into it. A lifeline in this game, and this could be a dramatic finale. Well, let's take another look, and wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is. And there it is, the final whistle. The home fans are going to be happy with this result. Well, Derek, it was a tight game. Both sides had their moments and chances, but overall, they just about shaded it. A well-earned victory. Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And with the game just moments away now, this really ought to be a superb watch. It's Real Madrid up against Portsmouth. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. In it goes! An early opening statement in this match. And look at the celebrations. Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. And the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Holland couldn't find a teammate. Throw in here. Garincha. Modric. And out for a throw in. Just misfiring with the pass. David Beckham. Pele. Pele. Nicely timed tackle. And Real with the ball again. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. Holland. David Beckham. And on to Beckham. Well, they want that equaliser, but the passing remains smooth. David Beckham. Skulls! And the danger is averted. Ronaldinho. Jude Bellingham. And out of play, the pass nearly worked out, but not quite. Well, he was keen to give that one a go. Sadly, lacking a bit of accuracy. Oh, my goodness! What a strike! From so far out, absolutely sensational! Unstoppable! Well, just take another look at this. He reads the flight perfectly, catches it so sweetly, and then bang. Not sure if the keeper was caught off guard. It's a long way out, but what a great strike. Pele. 
A goal! Just what they needed. Still plenty of life in this match. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well-balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. Well, back underway as we reflect on the goal that's made it 2-1. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Coming up half time, don't forget, we'll be having the Lucky Raffle and also don't forget the Lucky Program Draw. You know, Away they go the again. Second program. half is underway here. Paolo Maldini. And the danger clear. Pele. A real opening now. Well, as we see it again, he was never going to miss that, was he? That's a really simple finish in the end. So back underway, the game having been squared at 2-2. Ake. And Bellingham. And he read it well defensively. Out of play in a Real Madrid throw-in coming up. Neymar. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Can they forge ahead? Oh, there it is! Incredible! How about this for got some courage? Can they see this out now? Well, as you can see, he gets everything right here. What a skillful volley that is. Well, the action underway. Can Real find a response now? Neymar. Neymar thrives on running at defenders. Well, he didn't miss by all that much with the header. Just a little bit off target. Philip Lahm. Bellingham, the ball with Luka Modric, ten minutes left for play, Ronaldinho, and back to Garincha, oh incredible save, and he snuffed out any sign of danger. Well it hasn't been a great performance, but the fans have been brilliant, just listen to the noise, can the players respond and find this equaliser? And the keeper with the ball. And cleared away. And so the final whistle here. The visitors come out on top, Stuart. Well, Derek, they didn't dominate the game by any means today. But overall, they had the better of the chances and just about deserved their win.